We're getting started with murder by numbers here. We've got it loaded so that it will load. It will, it'll pop up right when it starts. Supposedly there's a... So this is Murder by Numbers. This is a murder mystery game from Mediatonic, which I believe is the team behind uh, the, the team behind Hotful Boyfriend, the bird uh, dating visual novel game. Let's get started with a new game here. Uh, uh, F. Case one shows over. Here we go. Scout OS initiating boot ups procedure. Propulsion, imaging, network, microphone array, speech synthesis, visual ontology database, error, knowledge database online, test server, cache, oh, there we go, I am scout, I, hmm, I can't see anything, I know, I'll run the visual recalibration routines, visual ontology test, damaged, Whoop. The basics of image reconstruction are simple. See that grid? By filling in certain squares, a picture will appear. So this is a tutorial, it seems, of how Picross works. So if you don't know Picross, if you've never seen a Picross a puzzle or a pictogram, uh, you're gonna learn through this. I'll probably, I might go through this very fast. So if I do, please stop me. But uh, I, uh, the, this is great. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna, don't do it. The clues on the sides of the grid tell you which squares to fill in. Once you've filled in the right squares, you'll complete the image. See how this row has five written here? That means five connected squares in a row should be filled in. Since there are five squares in the row in total, that means all of them should be filled in. Let's fill these in now. I'm just clicking with the left mouse. There we go. Great. See how the clue there went gray? That means you followed that clue properly. Now we're going to introduce the other important part of the image, of uh, image reconstruction puzzles, making squares that must be, marking squares that must be empty. Take a look at this column. The one clue means that only one square in this column should be filled in. Because one square is already filled in, that means none of the others can be. So we should mark these squares with a cross to remind us that they shouldn't be filled in. Mark these four squares with X's now. Uh, ah, right click. Okay, I should, probably should have told me that. Great! Now do the same for the second column. Okay, I can click and drag. And the fifth column. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, we're nearly there. This row has a clue of two, which means two connected squares are filled in. Because we put those X's in earlier, now there's only one place where this other square can go. Fill it in now. Boop, boop. Now do the same on this row. Boop, boop. As you can see, marking squares with X's is really important and makes reconstructing the images much easier. Image reconstruction can be boiled down to the following two tasks. Filling in squares that are correct and placing X's in the squares that cannot be filled in. Now, use the techniques you've learned to complete the puzzle. Boop, boop. Oh, do you have to? You have to fill in the X's. Weird. That's an arrow. You found right arrow. There we go. Oh, it was an arrow pointing right. Okay, on to the next one. Ooh, all of them are corrupt. Oh, okay. Here we go. Next, let's look at a really useful technique called overlapping. This row has a clue of four. Remember, that means that there are four connected squares that should be filled in. Given that there are four connected squares and only five possible spaces, that means that there are only two possible places this group could go. You see here as the image. Look at the three squares in the middle of the row. Notice how no matter where we place this group, these three squares are always filled. That means that we can safely fill them in. Go ahead. Boop, boop, boop. Good job. This is overlapping. Working out which squares will always be filled in or always empty regardless of where the group goes. Let's try a few more examples. Take a look at this row. 
this row only has three connected squares, which means there are three possible positions it can be in. Even in this situation, there's an overlapping square, the one in the middle of the row. Fill it in now. Notice how this row has two number clues. This means that the row has two groups of squares, one of three connected squares and one of just a single square. Groups must be separated by at least one blank square. So for example, in this instance, it must go three squares, at least one blank square, and then one final square. Given that there are only five squares in the row, there's only one possible layout that will fit here. Fill in the highlighted squares and then put X in the square we know must be empty. Boom. We can do some more overlapping on this column. Given that we already have one of the squares filled in, there are now only two possible places that this group could go, and one more overlapping square. Fill in that square now. Did you notice that, in the previous case, the last square will never be filled? Crossing out squares that you know must be empty is as crucial as filling them in, so let's cross that out now. Look at that. On the subject of crossing things out, notice how the last column has been completed already by following other clues. Cross out all other squares in this column so you know to keep them blank. Whoop. Excellent work. Now use all of the techniques you've learned so far to finish the puzzle. Halo, finish the fight. Boom, boom, boom. And then, that's that. Boop. Look at that, we did it. Oh, it's a kitty cat? Ah, oh, it's a dog, we found dog. Dog, everybody. All right, a dog, how cute. Let's try the others. Oh, that's not a lot of vodka. Okay. Two out of three tests completed successfully. Oh, oop, oh, oh. Where am I? I need a vocoder. Accessing memory. 85% memory corruption? Ha what happened? I should try and find a way out. Oh, it's a garbage bag. Wait, does that mean this is a garbage dump? Did someone throw me away? Oh, Difficulty select. Choose your difficulty level. Uh, we're going to do normal because I play a lot of Picross games. Drinking a little bit of gamer fuel. That's a Mountain Dew and a little bit of rum I had left. Several hours later. Grid Gridmore Studios? Ooh. Miss Terry. And that's how I discovered this missing word or weapon. It was inside the butler all along. Detective Oates. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't think of that. I couldn't have done it without your help, Detective Oates. After all, someone had to distract that swarm of bees. <laughs> You're right. We make a great team. It's it's just lucky we were in the neighborhood. We'll always be here. We'll always be where we're needed, Oates. Because wherever there's murder... Shing! There's Miss Terry. Uh, Miss... Mystery. Oh, God. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> That's the last of the reshoots, everyone. Good work. I, uh... Enjoy your summer break, okay? Ooh, that's that's weird. Ugh, thank God for that. I hate reshoots. Like, I already nailed it the first time. It's not my fault I'm surrounded by a bunch of talentless idiots. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, Honor. You're not an idiot. Honor, c can I see you in my office real quick? Uh, sure. I'll be right there. Another meeting with the showrunner? I wish you paid that much attention to the real talent around here. Better run along? Better better run along now. Keep it together, Honor. Four months until next season. Four months before you have to talk to her again. Thanks, Becky. Hope you have a great summer. Hope you have a great summer. Ugh, what a suck up. Jay-Z Cohen. Okay, this is totally ripping off an episode of Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> Please, come in. How's it going? How's it going? Your wife doing okay? My, my wife? I, yeah, yeah, she's fine. Listen, I... Uh, this is hard. Uh, 
Did we get canceled? We didn't get canceled, did we? I thought the fifth season was already confirmed. The show's fine. The, the numbers for last season were great. But it's, uh, it's about your contract. My contract? I don't understand. I wish there was something I could do, but... What? Are you firing me? Th this isn't what I... You're the showrunner, Blank. Don't act like you've got no choice. No warning, no negotiation. You're, you're supposed to be my friend. Please, honor. I wish... Try. Ooh. I can't. Oh. What about the show? You can't just get rid of Detective Oates. The, the fans will go crazy. You're telling me. Three weeks of hate mail just for changing the theme song. But sometimes things come up. Unexpected things. I have to do whatever it takes. The network put forward the idea of a uh, talking poodle a few months back. I might try it out. Animal companions are big right now. Right. Replaced by a dog. That's dignified. I know this is coming to bed. Forget it, Blake. I don't need your sympathy. What I need is for you to have my back like you always used to. Guess that's not going to happen. This isn't what I wanted on her, I swear. I wish I could believe you. Oh, Slam! The door slammed. That stinks. That stinks. That's sucky. Huh. I can't believe this. Four years of hard work and then I'm just... I'm just out? Just like that? What am I supposed to do now? Miss Ms. Rye, good to see you. Say, you haven't seen any kids running around out here, have you? Did the Friday Fun Show audience escape again? <laughs> Since they started strapping them into their seats. This is, uh, got a report about kids spraying graffiti on the studio lot. <laughs> Same thing happened last summer. Look at me going on. I must have finished. You must have finished filming by now, right? Oh, yeah, I'm finished. Like, not coming back finished. Huh? No way! Yeah. Blake isn't renewing my contract. Oh, geez, that's awful. I thought you two were friends. Me too. Then what about money? What, what with your husband being out of the picture, wasn't, wasn't this your only income? <laughs> Thanks, Sergeant Exposition. <laughs> Gosh, I'd be terrified if that was me. I'm getting stomachache just thinking about it. Ooh. I was trying not to think about it, Bill. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Me and my big mouth. But, but you'll, you'll be fine, Miss Mizrahi. I know it. I'm sure you've got a plan. So far, the plan is go home and find something strong to drink. You, you take care of yourself now, okay? Plenty of people here will be sad to see you go. Me included. Thanks, Bill. Hey, shouldn't you be looking for those kids? Kids? Look, oh, right. Well, I'd better go. I'll see you around. <laughs> that's, that's... Now, where'd I put my car keys? I thought I had them in my handbag somewhere. Detective Oates! I, I don't know who this character is. I can't do a voice. I am not in the mood to sign autographs right now. Oates isn't my name. I'm just an actress. And this really isn't a good time. But I need your help, detective, just an actress. I'm not a detective. Could you please just... You're not a fan. What, what are you? I am Scout. Is this some kind of prank? A processing prank. A practical joke. A deception. No, I'm not a prank. I'm Scout. This is cute. All right, where's the hidden camera? I am equipped with a digi digital imaging device, if that's what you mean. It isn't hidden, but it may be hard to see from where you're standing. Do you have any other questions? Listen, this is all real clever, hilarious, really, but I've, I've had a bad day, and I'm just not in the mood. Unless you can find my car keys, I suggest you get lost. I can help find your keys. I can find anything. Activating object identification mode. Puzzle start. Okay, we got a five by five, uh, or a five by ten. Uh, oh, I wish it had a. Oh, it does. It has a marker system. Oh, oh, oh. don't do that. 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 that. There we go. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
so that means six. So beep, 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 beep. And then these are threes, so we can fill these in for sure. That's also a three, so we can fill that in and cross that off. Cross that off, cross that off. Okay, so that's good. And then do 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 Oh, no, that's not. Oh, that's, is that right? I don't know, is that a tampon? Car key? Okay, well, I don't like being rank F. There, it's in your bag. That's, that's not my car key. That's my tampon. Oh, tampon made from a, I know what it is. I just don't get how this is supposed to help me open my car. No, yes, sorry. I am detecting multiple faults in my object recognition systems, and, and I really have to be going. Wait, I still need your help. I told you, I'm not a real detective. Hell, I'm not even a fake one anymore. What could you possibly want me to help you with? I don't remember. Great. Well, good luck with that. Now get lost, will you? This isn't funny anymore. Okay. I swear, it like gets weirder every day. Now, where are those keys? Maybe I left them back in the studio. Beep. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. They must be around here somewhere. Mm. Ah! What was that? It sounded like it came from Blake's office. Location unlocked. Office. You now have access to the map. Use the map button to open the map. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Map. Map button! Office. <gasps> Becky, I, I thought I heard a scream. What are you doing in here? Where's Blake? He's... He... He's... He's... He's dead! <gasps> Blake! Oh. I just came in and and I think, I think I'm gonna hurl. Hey, hey, don't leave me in here on my own. Uh, oh, hi, Honor. Just, oh my God, is that Blake? Oh, what happened? I don't know. I heard Becky scream and uh, oh, but oh, geez, what are we gonna do? We gotta we gotta stay calm, right? I'm not qualified for them. They tell me to check the ID, but not. not uh, 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 we have to call the police. Oh yeah, good idea. Call the cops. They'll know what to do. They're professionals. You, you, you just wait right here. It'll be all fine. <laughs> Jeez, seeing the blood there makes me go. <laughs> Bill. Right. Yeah. Please. Sorry. Huh. Well, go get help. J.C. Collins says seriously, there was an episode of Murder She Wrote where they parodied Friends, and one of the cast killed the showrunner. Ooh, interesting. Blake. Why? Okay. Episode one. Show's over. Because it's like a, t like a TV show. The showrunner died. Ooh. And he was just lying there. Bloody hell. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Who is this? Casey. Oh, bloody hell. I'm sorry, Honor. No one should have to see that. I just don't get it. Who'd want to hurt Blake? Is this everyone? All staff present? Correct, sir. Well, everyone except Blake. Gonna count on his being dead and all. <coughs> oh, jeez. Me and my big mouth again. I'm sorry, everyone. I just can't believe what happened. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I'll take it from here. Thanks. I'm Senior Detective... G G Jerry Cross. I'll be leading the investigation into the death of your showrunner, Blake. I realize this is a difficult time for everyone, but if you work with me, we can see that justice is served. First off, who found the body? Becky found the body. I came running when I heard her scream. He was dead when you found him? How should I know? I'm not a doctor. Becky! I'm Becky, he's trying to help! I'm sorry, detective. She's obviously still in shock. And who are you exactly? I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Honor Mizrahi. I'm an actress. Mm. Mm. 
Honor Mizrahi. Well, I'll be. You've probably seen the show Murder Mystery. Oh, you've probably seen the show Murder Mystery. I play Detective Oates. Of course he's seen it. We're a smash hit. Yeah, that must be it. He's got the little. He's got the little uh, Phoenix Wright Apollo Justice swipe. I'm Becky Call, by the way, star of the show and soon to be winner of the Star Shine Award for Best Actress. Hopefully. Glad to meet you. Now, what I need you to do is an autograph, of course, but I'm going to have to ask you for a small fee. I don't want your autograph, Miss Call. I just want you to think about what you saw. You'll all have to submit statements after I've examined the crime scene. Trying to keep this way, though. Do you need anything? Uh, uh, do you need anything else until then, or can we go? I think we could all do with some time to process what's happened. Hold it! No one's going home. There's been a murder. I don't want anyone leaving this room until I've got the place secured. You understand? Uh, so what voice did I do? Huh? Reddish. You, you're being cute, right? You can't lock us in here. There's no, there's no bathroom. Use a paper cup if you have to. I want to keep all of you in one place until I get the facts straight. What? Listen, senior detective, I am not going in a cup. Where do you think we are, frat party? I think I got that. What's your name? Casey LeBeau, award-winning hair and makeup artiste. Enchant to meet you. Aren't you Brits supposed to be good at keeping things bottled up? Well, now's your chance. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Who's that hiding in the corner? Oh. Oh God! <laughs> oh, what, what, I don't. I don't know what voice. <laughs> Tully. <laughs> Me. Well, I wasn't hiding. I got nothing to hide, Mr. Cross. Uh, I mean, Officer Cross. It's not Officer. It's Senior Detective. De detect. He's gonna be Batman now. Detective Cross is not Batman. It's not Officer. It's Senior Detective. Who are you? What are you doing here? Right. Right. Senior Detective. Got it. Uh, my name's Tully. I was just getting a drink when all hell broke loose, Senior Inspector, sir. Let me say it slowly so you get it. Senior Detective. And I meant, what are you doing here in the studio? What's your job here? Well, why didn't you say so? I'm a handyman by day, bodybuilder, and model at night. I'm going to be the next Schwarzenegger. That's great, and I definitely want to circle back around to this. But we still haven't solved my wee problem. For God's sakes, I'm not your babysitter, Mr. LeBeau. The matter is closed. As for everyone else, don't care if you're an actress, the next Schwarzenegger, or William goddamn Shatner. You're all suspects until I say otherwise. I bet it. You, security guy. Bill, wasn't it? Take me to the crime scene. Everyone, just sit tight while I do my job. Do, 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 do. The real crime... Okay, he's gonna be, like, British and Aussie, because I, I just can't fucking do it. I just can't fucking do it right now. I forgot that... I forgot that doing a visual novel on this fucking stream is so bad I get The real crime around here are those eyebrows. Somebody needs to pluck those gals before they get into a cop fight. See, that's very Aussie. I mean, now it's very Aussie. I'm a man of zero voices. Suppose we're stuck here. So, Tolly. Let's talk about your... Bodybuilding. Ooh. Several hours later. It has been a minute since I've done voices on this channel. Ah, come on already! Let me out! Would you stop making so much noise? He obviously can't hear you. It's Friday night and I'm supposed to get a party in like three hours. How am I supposed to get ready when I'm stuck here with you losers? You realize Blake's dead, right? And all you can think about is your stupid party? Just because Blake's dead doesn't mean my social life has to die, too. Mm. It's about time. I thought you were ignoring me. I was. Would have kept it that way, too, but I found this guy in a hallway over by the set. <laughs> you got any other potential suspects wandering around that I should know about? Shouldn't you have the studio in lockdown? What if the killer already got away? I've got patrol cars at every exit. No one's getting out of here. But thanks for telling me how to do my job, sweet cheeks. John, you're going to stay here until I say otherwise. Got it? Yes, detective. 
uh, hi, I'm, I'm John, John, John Redfern. Looks like you're stuck here with us now, John. You'd better not need to use the bathroom. There's a sink here. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, you're Miss Terry. Yeah, I know who I am. Thanks. And you're Detective Oates? Oh, wow. Am I guest starring in a new episode or something? <laughs> right, hilarious. Who are you again? Don't worry about her. She's a star. She's a star for attention. So, are you a new crew member or me? Work on the show? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, I'm just a, a fan, like the biggest fan. I, I can't believe I'm actually talking to Becky Call. This is amazing. <laughs> a fan? Why didn't you say so? It's always a pleasure to meet someone who appreciates my talent. <laughs> I seriously can't even. Everyone on Usenet is gonna go nuts when I tell them about this. Oh my god, he's one of those freaks from the internet. What if, what if he's the killer? K k killer? What are you talking about? Come on, Becky, he only just got here. He only just got here. And oh god, I'm done. I'm bad. You're gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get fucking deleted from the internet for this. We shouldn't be pointing fingers. Just let the detective do his job. Do his job? We've been locked in here for several hours later. Why didn't I see it sooner? Honor did it! Excuse me? C could someone maybe explain what's going on? Think about it. She's the one who just got fired. What the what? You got fired? It happened right before this thing with Blake. I didn't know how to tell you. You don't need to be Miss Terry to realize that's one hell of a motive for murder. Don't go throwing stones, Miss Glasshouse 1996. We all know you and Blake were fighting over your new contract. I... Wait, I don't have to listen to this. Oh, don't you walk away from me, isn't it? You blasted governor. I've got to just gotta get anything to keep in mind. Could someone please tell me what's going on? Uh. <sighs> Everything's falling apart. <laughs> Just wish I could do something instead of being stuck in here. If, if I could get out. <laughs> oh. Maybe I can help. Am, am I hearing voices? Maybe we really have been locked in here too long. Hello! You again? What are you doing here? Helping! Do you need me to find something? A killer. And it could be anyone in this room. Even you? No, not me. I just don't know how to prove that yet. And maybe that's how I can help. How do I know I can trust you? I don't even know what you are. Ask me anything you want. I'll try my best to answer. Ah, question. Hello, Detective is just an actress. Please, call me Honor. It is a pleasure to meet you, Honor. I am Scout. What would you like to know? What are you? First things first, what are you? Good question. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer. That's why you need a detective. You don't know anything about yourself? I know I am a robot. I'm equipped with a radar, imaging camera, and over 200 megabytes of storage. So you're some kind of... flying camera? Unclear. Most of my subroutines are corrupted, but many are searching optical data and matching to known objects. Many are for searching optical data and matching to known objects. However, most of my object database has been lost. That explains the tampon thing. How did you lose so much data? I don't know. My memory banks are severely deteriorated when I came online. Huh. Seems like you're quite the mystery scout. Where did you come from? I was hiding under the... I mean, in not in here. I mean, who made you? Uh, I don't know. All that tech and no warranty card. Better hope you don't need any spare parts. Okay, let's work backwards. How did you get here? 
I was following the street when I saw it. Murder Miss Terry, solving mysteries every Thursday. The billboard, the billboard outside the studio. And do you solve mysteries on other days as well? I don't know if I can wait until Thursday. You said you were following the street. Where were you before? A bad place. And there were broken electronics everywhere. No wonder I was damaged. You mean the scrap heap? Who would throw something like you away? And that's what I want to find out. So what do you want from me? I told you I'm not a real detective. I understand, but perhaps you can help me find one. <sighs> Scott, I've got my own problems. One of my friends is dead. Also, maybe you haven't noticed, but we're locked inside a break room. I can't help anyone right now. And then let me help you. I can find a way out of this room so you can prove your innocence. And then I'll be free to help you? It's logical, is it not? Can't argue with that. How do I know I can trust you? My friend is dead. For all I know, you could have killed him. I would never hurt anyone. I don't even know how. I only want to find out who I am. Hmm. I don't see any weapons on you. I guess you're safe. Me, me, me. But I swear, if you go all hell 9,000 on me, we are through. So, can you find me a way out of here? <laughs> sure. I'll do a quick scan. I found a way out. There's a gap in the wall. It's behind you. Approximately six feet, eight inches tall. A gap. That's the door, Scout. If I could get out that way, I wouldn't need your help. Sorry. My logic boards are obviously still warming up. Give me a moment to take a more detailed scan. Investigate. You use Scout's scanning mode to locate objects of interest. Move the viewport with the mouse and click to scan when the cursor turns fully red. Oh, hold on. Now my mouse is visible. Okay, well, we're looking for a way out. Oh! The ceiling? Oh, hold on. Puzzle start! All right, we got a 10 by 10 here. So if we do eight here, we do eight here. That means two here. So we've got an overlap of six here. An overlap of six here. That'll also mean we'll have an overlap of six here. But, it, 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 duh. So we got six. So when it comes to overlapping, the quick, the quick math that I'm doing in my head is what is the extreme sides here? So we have six here, as well as six here. And so the overlap is two. Um, I go through that very quickly um, because uh, I've played a lot of these games before. So there's that. Uh, so another thing you know is that when you have uh, the edge of something blocked off, you know that you are on the edge of one of the edge uh, puzzles are one of the edge segments of blocks. So here, uh, we know that we're going to use this edge. We know we're going to use this edge on this row so we can easily fill these out as threes and then close it off. Okay. The other thing is uh, this this square is now filled in and it is on uh, it is similarly on an edge. It, we know that this can't be anything. We know that the next clue in order is a one so we can blank that out. We can also do the same over here. Lastly, uh, because we've got the ones filled out here, we can fill that as an X because the four, the missing four hint won't fill in, fit in there. So now we can add these. And now we can blank out these ones because those have finished the one there. Uh, let's finish doing the edge parts here. Uh, three and three. And that row's done. Boop and boop. Now, uh, oh, yeah, so boop, 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 boop for those columns. Oop, no, sorry, here we go for those columns, uh, which means boop, 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 boop. And then now that row is done. Boop, boop. Now we have uh, other things that we've got. Oh, let me get those. Um, uh, another thing is uh, on this side, we we had those hint there, the, the hints or the overlap uh, measures there. Uh, 
Uh, so it was, it was tough to see it, but we can actually block this out uh, because all of the, now I'll explain why we can do this. So this is not an exterior edge, right? It's not the same as this square, uh, this fill is here. Um, but we know that all of the hints here in this column are ones because we've got a one here. Uh, we at least know that the next square is an X without even taking into consideration the number of hints or the position of the other hints, all of them are gonna be one. So we can actually just boop and boop. And now, uh, because we know there's only one hint left on the top side for both of these, we know that those are filled in. And now we finish these eights. Now, uh, another factor in counting Picross, I hope this is not like time-based purposes, uh, is that now that we've blocked the edges, uh, like take this eight hint column, right? Uh, normally, without this, normally without this X, oh, it won't let me do it because it's perfect. Oh, wait, no, there we go. Normally without this X, this column has 10 possible um, positions. But with this X, now, the co now this row or co this column only has nine. So if we went back and did another overlap, um, uh, another overlap sort of counting, we would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which means now we have a new overlap uh, in the games parlance. Oops. Uh, on both of these columns. And now that gives us new exterior exterior close here, so boop, and that's done with that hint. That's another two, and that's done with that hint. Uh, let's see. This column here, this, this column of five one hints, has one, two, three, four ones already filled in, uh, and only has one block left, and we need to fill in one block. So we can safely add these here and here. And now we finished the six. Boop, boop. And in our remaining hints, we can round out the eights. And we've got a solved puzzle for a great, an air vent. Uh, okay. I think I've located another way out. Mm, could you verify that it's not another door? It's an air vent. That might actually work. Or at least it works in movies. The only problem is it's sealed with a metal cover. Mm. You don't happen to have a crowbar, do you? I don't think I have that feature. Worth a try. The cover seems to be held in place with four metal screws. It could probably be removed for access. Oh, it could probably can be removed for access. Okay, so we need a screwdriver. I'm guessing you don't have one of those either? No. I'll be sure to bring it up with my creator if I ever find them. Um, what do you think you're doing? And what is that thing supposed to be? I am Scout! Honor, Honor, are you really that desperate for friends? I always knew you were weird, but I didn't think it was this bad. Have you written your statement yet? I can't write in these conditions! Any one of you could be the murderer. So could you. Pretty convenient you found Blake dead, isn't it? How could I kill my own showrunner? That's career suicide. Ugh, what's taking this detective so long? You think someone his age would value time? For once, I agree with you. Scout found an air vent that leads out of the room. I'm gonna get out there and prove I'm innocent. What? No way! I am not letting you sneak out while I'm stuck in here. What are you gonna do? Tie me to a chair? If you so much as touch that air vent, I'm calling Detective Cross. You get fired, Blake dies, and then you try to escape. You don't look so innocent to me. Mm. What if she's right? Escaping this room may not be the best option. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense, Scout. And we have to move fast. The longer we wait, the more time the killer has to cover their tracks. How do you know that? I've picked up a thing or two over the years. Murder mysteries were always my favorite kind of story. I just never expected to be in one. But before we can get out of here, we have to find some way to distract Becky. Question. Becky. What do you want? 
How are you holding up? <sighs> I'll be okay. No thanks that idiot detective. Oh, I gotta update the dash. I can't believe he left us locked in here without any protection. What if the killer tries to finish off the rest of us? You don't think they'd be trying to lay low? How should I know? I'm not a murderer. Maybe not. On the other hand... What, the contract thing? Don't be stupid, Honor. That's just business. I'm not a suspect. I'm a victim of circumstance. Sounds like you don't think much of Detective Cross. He's so old. I thought real detectives were supposed to be cool and mysterious. The only thing mysterious about him is why he hasn't retired yet. Were you really fighting with Blake about your contract? I do not want to talk about it. But can you believe these people? I'm their biggest star and they can't even find a few thousand dollars for promotion. I swear it's like they want the, die, the shit to die in award season. What are you smiling about? Oh, nothing. I just thought you didn't want to talk about it. If you really want to get out of here, you should let me go. The sooner I can prove I'm innocent, the sooner Detective Cross can concentrate on finding the real killer. No way! If I have to be stuck in here, then so do you. You're just mad because you're going to miss your stupid party. Duh! It's the social event of the season! And I'm supposed to be there in three hours. I thought that was several hours ago. If I don't get out of here soon, everyone will be drunk by the time I get there. They won't even notice me arriving. Oh, okay. The Twitch thing is not updating. Here we go. Uh, oop, 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 oop. There you go. You're more worried about getting to a party on time than Blake. Don't you care at all? Of course I care. It's tragic, but this isn't just any party. It's a Mitzi McCree party. Do you know how hard it is to get on her guest list? I've been trying for months. Not that you don't understand. You always get invited to these parties with your husband. Oops. Sorry. Ex-husband. Maybe now you're divorced, you'll finally see what it's like for people like me. You know, people who got where they are through hard work. Not by marrying some rich guy. I auditioned like everyone else. Oh, sure. And who got you the audition in the first place? Ooh. I still don't understand why you divorced him. If I had a guy who got me into Mitzi McCree parties, I'd never give him up. So how does it, finally, how does it feel to finally meet your biggest fan? Who, John? He's so pathetic. He keeps trying to talk to me about poetry or some crap, as if I want to hear poetry at a time like this. You think your biggest fan would know you weren't interested in art? I am into art, but fashion is the art of the 90s honor, and John is anything but fashionable. Okay. okay. Investigate! What is this? Puzzle start! Alright, so we've got a 9 by 10. We should have 7 with 2 remaining, so we're gonna have 5 overlapping there. Let's see, we got another 7, so we can safely say that's 5. Uh, we have 5 here. Normally, on a 10 by 10, there would be no overlap for a 5, but this is a 9, basically, by not having this column. So there actually is overlap here. Uh, we also now have an edge piece so we can go boop, boop, boop. We can also look at overlap here on this column. Because this is a four hint and we have five remaining uh, squares, we can safely know that there's an overlap of three there. And look at that. We finished this row. Okay. What else have we got? We've got a four one set of hints here on this row. Uh, we can fill this four in because we have uh, an available squares of four, followed by a set, and another four. Now, we couldn't put the four here because there would be no room for the one on the, on, to the right of it. 
so we know we can put that there. So that's something. Um, here's another thing about um, this. So if we look at this one call or this one row, this one row has been completed and has many X's up here. If we look at the top hints of all of the columns, five, two, one, one, four, two, one, two, two, we can tell that there was only room up here, up in this section, for hints of one, because there's only one square followed by a break. Now, we can't, we can't say, oh, this is definitely a one because there's space for it, but we can definitively say there's not a five here, there's not a two here, it's not a, uh, the four is different because we have um, a filled in square here, so that's different. Uh, the two would not fit here. The two and the two would not fit here either. Now if we look at this, we can also see uh, on this row, we have available squares in a set of three and a set of one. But the only hint on this row is a two, so we know that this can't be where the two goes because there's only one square there. And now in these three, there's an overlap of, boop boop, you guessed it, one. There we go. So we've finished this one, and we've now made this the edge of the eight hint. So we now know that the next eight, uh, eight squares are all filled in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, we finished that column. What else have we got? We've got some edges here. This is a, a one at the edge, so that hint is finished. We also have a two at the edge, so that is uh, a square and a finish. Uh, we can also look in this column here, there's three in the remaining squares, or three hints in the remaining squares. Now we don't have the edge here, but we do have this piece. This piece tells us that the three could go one, two, three, or one, two, three. But it definitely cannot go here. So look at that. Not only have we made an X, we've also found an overlap. One, two, three, one, two, three, this square. Look at that. In that neat. Um, other things, other things, other things. Let's see. Uh, here we go. This one and two column. We've already got the one hint finished. And we have another square for the two hint, which means that the other filled in square in this column is going to be here or here. And we can safely cross out these squares. What other things? In this row here, let's switch to rows for a second. We have a two, three, two hint. Well, if we actually stopped and counted out, a two, three, two fits in this column in only one way. Especially because we started with, or in this row in only one way. Especially because we started with this column closed, this is basically a nine column. Uh, but to make it simpler for right now, we've already got three filled in here, and there's no four hint available to us. So we can cross that off, we can make a stop, and successfully fill in that three. And the remaining hints will fill in, or the remaining squares will fill the two hints. What else? Um, looking for the easy ones. Okay, uh, here's something. Uh, in, uh, in this row, we have two squares here, so that tells us that that is not that these are not related to the one hint. The one hint also could not fit in here because then there would no be there would not be space for an X. So we know that this is part of the five hint, which makes sense because there are six available squares in this set. Uh, because uh, we are looking for a five hint, and only a five hint is going to fit in these six squares. Again, because that one would not fit uh, here in this uh, in this one square here without a stop. Uh, we know that there is an overlap of, of four because the two options here are one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So these squares are overlaps. Here's another interesting one. Um, let's look at this column here, this one, one, six column. We've already got the one filled up and the computer, uh, the computer is pretty smart and puts together when it knows uh, that a uh, a centrally located pack must be tied to a certain clue. So if we had less of these, um, well actually just the way that this, 
the size and the way that this uh, column is laid out, it, it would have done the same way, but you could have in another world, if this were longer, thought, okay, well this is a one hint, but we don't know which one. We know that this is the center one. Um, because, it, because we have that, we can put the other one here. But also another thing we can do is below the, let's we just take that off for a sec. Below the center one, there's only a hint of six. But we have two squares filled in and then a singular square filled in. And now in, a, if we didn't have any hints, um, which is not how the game works, uh, you could plausibly go, well, these might be parts of separate hints. But we know that this is a combined six. So you can fill in the square here because these are solving the same hint. But also, there's plenty of space here for, or there's specifically enough space here for all six, the one, and then the other one hint. This is uh, one of the nice columns or rows uh, that you'll find in Picross. One of sort of the fundamental sort of starting points is a row that can only fit into one configuration. This 116 on a 10 length uh, puzzle could only fit like this because you have to have at least one square between the sets of uh, hints. That also finishes off our two here. That finishes off our, that gives us our four here. That finishes off our one, our three, gives us the one. Now on this five, we can look at overlaps. One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. And we know that cannot go there. Okay, we've opened, we've created another overlap here. We've finished this column. All right, what else? We've created an overlap here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there we go. We know that the last hint in this column, two, two, one, is a one at the bottom. Now, we can't fit any other one hints below this already filled in square, so we know that must be our two hint. Uh, let's see. If we go back to this row, the five row here at the bottom here, uh, there is nothing that we could fit in hint-wise into this remaining square, and so we can also X that. Uh, let's go to the six six or the six one here. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. So we have another overlap. Uh, we can look at this two four column here. Uh, the two has to fit in there. And because the three for because the four hint has three already started on an edge, we can know. Boop, boop. And that finishes off the seven. That gives us the last here on the col on the row for five. That finishes off this column one two. That finishes off the six here and the one. The one is a hint on the column here. X that out because they're only remaining here is a two, and that could be one two or one two. This is an X. This is a, uh, um, this must be filled in. So must this. That's our twos. That's the column there. This seven uh, row is done. And then the two. And we've solved it. This is an apple. Do, 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 do. And do you think this could be useful to the investigation? I'll be honest, it seems unlikely that an apple is the smoking gun. A gun! Be careful, Honor. Guns are dangerous. No, Scout, it's it's just a turn of phrase. It means the murder weapon or a vital clue. Oh. Maybe. It's very confusing when humans say things that mean other things. I'm sure you'll catch on. Catch on to what? <laughs> that was another one, wasn't it? Can we move anywhere? No, we cannot move anywhere. Mm, nope, okay. Okay, we cannot move anywhere. Let's investigate again. Ah, a puzzle state. All right, so we have a five by ten here. Let's look for. Let's start off looking for rows that can only fit in one specific configuration. I can already see a couple here that are rows. I'm gonna fill in this, the first one that should be obvious to everyone. Tell me if you can, in the chat, see the other, uh, the other rows that there's only one configuration possible. Of course, the obvious one is the five. 
one, two, three, four, five. But there's another row that can only work in one configuration. It's not the three. The three has overlap, and we can get to that, but it's it could be in many different ways. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, there you go. Mr. Mooncat, Sugar Icy, got it. The one, one, one hint. Remember, each hint has to be separated by a blank. So the only way that these can go is fill, X, fill, X, fill. Uh, and we can do that again here on the other column. Look at that. And not only that, we have filled in. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> we can X the rest of these columns out. I'm doing great here. Uh, now we essentially have three, a uh, three by ten for the remaining columns. So we can fill in the three. That's definitely it. We already have the three done here. So this, uh, yeah, this one. we also can only do the one, whoop, only do the one one like this. Now even though we had the X in this position for this column, again it was like this, uh, or it was like this. Uh, even though we had the X here. Uh, this also, the uh, you can also assume that the same fill x fill works on the column uh, on the row below it, the one one, because there's no other configuration giving the starting state that we have now that the two one hints can work any other way other than fill fill x fill. We finished the next columns there, boop, 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 boop. and this is super easy. There we go. Do -do -do -do. This is a screwdriver! Look at that. Honor, I have found something. My ontological database indicates it is some kind of tool, but all further data is damaged or missing. It's a screwdriver, Scout. Scout, this is just what we needed. Hey, Tully, wasn't it? I'm guessing this is yours. Huh? What makes you think that? Well, because, I mean, you're a handyman, so... Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, do you mind if I borrow this? Mind? Why would I mind? Ooh, I'll lend you a tool anytime you like. <laughs> oh, that's a little too much. Maybe uh, after we get out of here, you and me could uh, grab a coffee. S -s Scout, if you've got a cattle prod attachment, now's the time. Beep, 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 beep. Well, you know where I'll be if you change your mind. Um, can I show her a tantrum? But what are you giving me that? Oh my God! Are you tracking my cycle? What kind of weird stalker are you, Honor? air vent. You know, you're more than welcome to escape with us through the air vent if you want. Me? Crawl into an air vent? You must be kidding. It's full of spiders and and, and rats. Hmm. I guess you're right. There might even be rat-sized spiders. Oh my god! Is that a real thing? There are several species of spider comparable in size to the average rat. Would you like to know more? Eh, get it away from me! So you definitely don't want to come with us. Over my dead body. Are you just going to show me whatever trash you picked off of the floor? Newsflash, I don't care. Are you, okay, okay, okay. The answer was yes. I'm just going to show whatever trash I found on the floor. All right. Investigate. Wait. Is there more? Come on, buddy. Is there... Am I missing anything? How do I... No? No? Oh, map. No? No? Uh... Puzzle start. 
All right, so we have a 10 by 10 puzzle here. Let's take a look for any, uh, any rows or columns that only have one configuration like we did last time. Uh, I think I see one row and one column that only have one configuration. In the chat, can anybody find it? Remember that the spaces between each numbered hint must also have at least one X'd out square. Ah, JC Calhoun found it. The 1 8 row and the 8 1 column. These can only have one configuration. The one, a simple way to tell is uh, the 1 plus the 8 is 9, plus the space in between is 10. And we have a 10 by 10. Uh, so this is pretty easy. Boop, 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 boop. And similarly, boop, 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 boop. And now this is really great because this gives us a bunch of edge hints that we can solve. The leftmost hint on this entire side and the bottommost hint on this uh, on this side. So let's start uh, going via the columns here. We have six, we have four, we have four, five, three, two, two, the one. We can also know, we can also add X's here. Okay, uh, so that's just the gimme columns. Let's also look at the gimme rows. We have four, 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 and that finishes off that row. Five, three, two, two, and one. Let's also add our X's here. Ah, look at that. Look at that. All right, so let's just do some finishing work here on the rest of these. This looks uh, pretty straightforward. These columns are done. Uh, oh, also got that there. What else are we looking for? Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, this row is also done. Uh, here we go. We need a two in this column. We only have two and one here, so that's that. Uh, oh, also overlap. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there's overlap, and that finishes that one hint there. That gives us the two there. That gives us the two there. Finishes off our three. Look at that. Uh, we, that row is also completed, so that gives us the one here. Finishes off the row there. Put the one in the column here, and we've solved it. This is a mystery toy. Look at that. 6,000 points. Da -na -na -na. A new bonus puzzle has been added to Scout's memory bank. What is this toy doing here? Hey, be careful with that. Don't you realize what you're holding? Uh, some kind of action figure? A action figure? It's not an action figure, it's a mystery figure. And a rare one, too, if I'm not mistaken. Huh, I thought it looked familiar. Guess I didn't recognize Becky without a scowl on her face. How come it's so valuable? Well, since you're interested, this particular figurine has a small but hilarious mistake. Take a look at the face. Aside from a strong urge to pull Becky's head off. Yeah, the eyes are the wrong color. Isn't it funny? Like, how do you get the eyes the wrong color? On this day. <laughs> they only made 200 before they noticed the pattern, so they're very rare. I wonder how we get here. They've actually got another just like it right here in my. In, in my. Uh. Hey, is that mine? You take it in my big can a thief. A, a thief? It was just lying here on the floor. And the flare has been hanging in. Everybody here again. I'm doing like Homestar Runner. It's a little Homestar Runner. Calm down. It's just a piece of plastic. Gotcha. we took your fear shake. Sorry if I shouted. I just can't stand to see priceless collectibles being abused. Especially when they belong to me. I'm sorry, John. I really didn't know it was yours. 
You should probably take it back before I get any ideas about shoving plastic Becky here into the garbage disposal. Nya nya. Dr. Ferrer's Jane says I have to learn to share. Besides, you are a detective out there, dear Al. If I can't trust you, who can I trust? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go sicko mode on you. You, you, uh, you were kidding about the garbage disposal thing, right? Haha! <laughs> what else? Okay, question. Question! Click Show Evidence to show evidence collected by Scout to suspects and prompt New Revelations. Present evidence. Miss Terry Toy. This is great. This is way more fully fledged than I thought it would be. Oh, great. Even more crappy merchandise. Is that the same outfit from the marching band episode? Nope. It's the one with the big alien bug cult. Ugh, I hated that episode. You know it took Jake Casey three hours to get all that green gunk out of my hair? Ugh. I don't want I don't wanna do I don't wanna do that voice. I don't wanna do it that much. Excuse me, Miss Cal. I, I couldn't help overhearing and I had to politely disagree. It wasn't just gunk, it was insect mucus, and it wasn't green, it was grey. I've seen it on VHS about a hundred times. I don't care what color it was. That crap was in my hair. But these details are very important. Is that a consistent world, the show would fall apart at the seams. Oh, please, it's all made up anyway. As long as I'm there, people will keep watching. But the real fans value internal logic. You've got to construct a rich and consistent canon to build long-term viewership. What the hell have canons got to do with anything? I can't believe you're so ignorant. This is exactly what caused the show to go downhill last season. You ought to be ashamed at what you've done. Downhill? Are you crazy? I've never looked better. This isn't about you. Now, I know you're crazy. Well, that'll work for a distraction. I didn't know human faces could display that shade of red. John really cares about the show, huh? I almost feel bad for Becky. Almost. This is cute. This is great. I love this. I really did not, um, like, hook... I did not get hooked on Hot A Full Boyfriend, because it felt like... But there's definitely, like, a lot of care, obviously, that was put into it, but it definitely just felt like a joke, and I got the joke before I played the game. Where I really dig this. I mean, it is jokey and kind of campy, but also, like, the puzzling... So far, these are very good beginner puzzles. Like, uh, this is really good stuff. I think we have everything we need now, Honor. Are you ready to open the air vent? Ready as I'll ever be. You? I'm looking forward to exploring this ventilation system with you. You know, I can't tell if you're joking or not. I don't know if I'm capable of joking on her, but I would like to learn how. Wait, before we climb in, any idea where this vent goes? I don't want to end up in the furnace. I could try mapping the internal topography with my active radar. I haven't a clue what that means, but if you think it'll help. Puzzle starred. Ah, here we go. So let's look for more uh, single configuration rows. Now, I can see quite a few here. Uh, in the chat, see if you can find uh, any rows or columns that have only a single configuration. Escargo Express definitely has, uh, some of the, fir has the first one, the five, four and the four five there we go of course we also have the one eight these are there but there are a couple more in fact if we started this puzzle over again you probably would have guessed that there we go the one three two one and the three one two ones only have a single configuration let's take a look at it uh, i'm going to go to the hint or to the marker so if we had one two three space one space one two space one uh, you can tell that there's no room for these to be configured in, in any other way um, and that's because uh, they fit with a single X between them hi Mrs. Sluko Sluko hi and so for the three one two one as well as the one three two one let's let's mark that out one space yep. 
one, two, three, space, one, two, space, one, you can see that even though the order is different, the math still works out to be the same. There we go. And so that works there too. There we go. Let's take a look at uh, some other hand action. The three or the three row here uh, is at the edge, so that can only be the three. Um, here we go. We, the one hint on this one four column is already finished. That means we have sets of squares in one and a set of four. Uh, our remaining hint is a four, which won't fit in the one, obviously. So let's fill out the rest here. That also finishes off the fours on this side. We can also look at the edge squares here. That hint is done. This entire row is done. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That finishes off those rows, as well as this column here. So we can finish that X. Uh, on the column here, four, two, two, the four. I see the four, two, two is also another single configuration uh, row. Uh, if, we, if we didn't have all these other hints in the way, we could have seen uh, that this is the only configuration for this row uh, without needing any other hints. Uh, let's go to the 152 that fits here. Another single configuration row. One space, five space, two, with no extra extra empty spaces in between. Uh, let's see here. This is row is done. Fill that in, and we're done. Hey, look at that! It's a map of the ventilation system. Bottom. A mapping complete! And the vent leads to another room of a similar size to this. Probably Blake's office. I didn't think I'd be heading back there so soon. Should I look for another way out? No. If I'm gonna find a way to prove I didn't kill him, his office is the best place to start. I just hope we don't run into Detective Cross when we get there. This vent looks pretty tight. You sure not? we're not gonna get stuck in here? Uh, don't worry, Honor. My sensors have already measured your body and- You did what? I took approximate measurements of your body. Compared to the diameter of the ventilation shaft, it's unlikely you'll become stuck. <sighs> did I do something, man? Scout, you can't just do that kind of thing without asking. Sorry, Honor. I didn't realize. <sighs> How about you just delete those measurements and- We'll pretend this never happened. What measurements? Hey, you can make jokes. Come on, let's get in that vent before I start having second thoughts. Air vent is open, and they climb inside. This game fucking whips ass. I think this thing fucking whips ass. On <laughs> this thing. I feel like I saw a Steam review that said that this game is significantly long too. So uh, maybe, we'll, maybe I wonder. We we we'll have to take a look once we're done with the stream if we want to, if I want to save the rest of this for the stream or if I should just play because it. it's a visual novel and it's a Picross game. I love Picross, but the visual novel stuff is very difficult for me. I would happily spend sixty hours a week str streaming f fucking Picross and talking my way through. All right, scout. No sign of Detective Cross. What's the plan now? Good question. We'll find whoever did this to you, Blake. I'll make sure. Scout, can you see anything? I can currently see 432 objects. Can you be more specific, or should I scan them all individually? No, I mean, can you see anything that might shed some light on what happened? And before you say anything, I don't mean the desk lamp. Understood. I'll scan the room. All right. Investigation. My puzzles start. All right. Let's see here. We've got a grid. And it looks like we have no columns or rows that are uh, single configurations. We're starting to get a little more tough. But what we can look at next is overlap. 
And I think that'll start a chain, uh, a chain going here. So the first one uh, is obviously, as Cargo Express has got it right, we should start with the seven because that's a singular hint and it's much, much easier uh, to look for overlap on singular, large singular hints. So let's uh, do uh, a count out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, 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 there we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are four overlapping squares, like that. Uh, that gives us four edge pieces. So uh, do 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 do. What else does this give us? Um, mm -mm. Escargo Express says you can also get a lot of mileage from the six one. Well, let's count that out because six one uh, will be a little more tricky. One two three four five six space one. Now, when it comes to doing overlapping, when you have multiple hints, the six and the one. Uh, the thing that you have to do is take the most compact version of the hints. So uh, all of the hints next together with a single X in between each hint, which is like what we've got here, and apply that on both sides, and making sure that you only uh, count overlaps of the exact same hint. So for example, uh, if we do, uh, so we've got six one here, Let's say I'll use this other row here to illustrate this, but obviously, we're, but we're still talking about the six one row. If we did uh, for calculating overlaps, one space, one two three four five six, we have overlaps here, the four, and it might look like we have an overlap here, but um, you, but those are from different hints. This is from the six, and this is from the one, so you can't count that. The other way to think about this, why you can't immediately fill this in, is um, let's let's do one more configuration because there's another option we could have is one space one two three four five six. This creates a plausible data a plausible answer set where uh, this is not necessarily filled in. And this is not necessarily filled in. And this is not necessarily filled in. It, ones obviously are never going to have overlap in this way. But uh, this is a, an illustrative way to show that what you're looking for with overlaps is squares that regardless of configuration will have um, filled in spaces. So with all of that said, we know we have one, two, three, four overlaps, four uh, definitive uh, squares for that. Hey, May of May. Thank you for joining us. As as a Picross fan myself, I am incredibly loving this. Okay, so we've finished this column here. We also have an edge piece here on this 151 column. So we know we can actually fill in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the X. Look at that. Um, other things. Here we go. On this, ro on this row, 1, 1, and run 1, we have already a 1 filled in. And so because we know there's nothing larger that it could possibly be, uh, we can just fill in an X there. We don't know, and the computer doesn't know what which one this is, but it's A1. Now, we can't do the same thing here on this one too. The reason is um, we have multiple very plausible scenarios where this is part of the one and there is a two somewhere to the right of it, or where this is the two and the one is somewhere to the left of it. So we have to leave that for now but we have many, many other options here, I believe. Um, let's see here. Here we go, and Escargo Express just got it. The four one row. We have the one done, so the remaining is a four, but we only have two spaces here, that's not gonna fit. So we're gonna put the four here and finish the column. Here's another thing. On the top row, there's only a two hint. Now, we know we've got one filled in, which means the other is going to be on the sides. And so we can cross out the two on the left here, but we can also definitely cross out the left of this X. I'm sorry, on the right, I meant right over here and the left of this X. Here we go. Also the row below that, the three, three. Uh, this is definitely for the right three because you couldn't fit both threes on this side here. But, uh, and while we can't finish the right side three here, we can definitely find an overlap here and 
across an X on that side. And because in these four, there must be a three hint, we have an overlap of two. And now we have two edge pieces here for these columns. So, oops, so we can make X's there. Another row here, this one, one, uh, another only ones row. So we know definitively that there must be an X here. Also, this is a one, one column, so you can do the same here. Uh, and then similarly here, uh, uh, we can fill, we can start, we can start solving using uh, givens. So escargot expresses, I like that this doesn't uh, immediately punish a misclick. That's, uh, punishing a misclick is actually a beginner, uh, a be sort of a beginner help. Now, I think that would happen if, um, if we were playing on easy mode, we're playing on normal mode. On easy mode, I think if you did a misclick, a, a, a miss, uh, fill, it would probably say um, that that was incorrect. It would probably have an auto solve like that. Um, and so it's it, it is nice that there's a normal mode or a, a sort of uh, established difficulty. The one thing I wish was that there was an easy switch between um, marking mode and filling mode. Because um, I like using marking just for visual. Um, for being visual, but I don't like having to move my mouse all the way over there. Okay, here's one. We have two separated sets of squares filled in. A one here that we know is the one, and one square filled in of what must be the two hint. So we can f X out the left side here, since there are no hints to the left of the one. And we have the six done here, and that row is done. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed up just a little bit because I'm sure you guys are following along here. One, two, three, four. So that's three. And that row is done. That row is done. That row is done. Here we go. Uh, this column has been done for a minute. Let's see. Oops. There we go. We can do that. We can do that. Do that. Boop, 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 boop. And then fill that in. Fill that in. Boom. Ba -na -na -na. What is that? Medical report. A medical report. This is the medical examiner's report. Detective Cross must have called someone in to check the body. We use these in the in murder mystery when we need to know the basics of about a mad murder. You know, cause of death, time of death. People were murdered on your TV show. Well, yeah, it's literally in the title. I didn't realize. I thought you said you were innocent. No one actually dies on the show, Scout. They're just acting. Acting. Ah, I see. This show wasn't real. You're just pretending to be an actress. Uh, no, I... Eh, I don't have time to explain this right now. Give me a minute to read this report. Cause of death, blunt force trauma to the head. Just like de the detective said. Uh, just like the detective said. Time of death, approximately 4.30. Where was I at 4.30? According to my internal chronometer, that's when we met in the parking lot. Of course, Scout. I think I just found my alibi. <laughs> Miss 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 Rye, <laughs> what are you doing in here? Uh -oh. You really shouldn't be in here, Miss Miss Rahi. You're gonna get yourself arrested. I know I shouldn't be here, Bill, but I couldn't stay in that break room. How'd you even get out? I thought Detective Cross locked the door. I called out through the vent system, with a little help from Scout here. I am Scout! Uh, hi! Is that a flying fax machine? He's a robot of some kind. We haven't had much of a chance to get to know each other yet. Scout, this is Bill. He's the studio's one-man security team. Hello, Bill! Boy, technology these days is amazing, isn't it? My son can fax me his drawings from home, and they come out right in my office here. Well, up until last week, anyway. Now they've got him doing macaroni art at school. Cheese gunned up the machine, something awful. Ooh. Bill, I've got to prove to Detective Cross that I didn't kill Blake. Can you help? You know I'd do anything to help you out, Miss Mizrahi. I just I don't want to get in trouble. What have you been doing since Detective Cross arrived? 
He put me in charge of guarding the crime scene. He's got a lot to do, so I'm supposed to make sure no one gets in here or touches anything. You didn't... You didn't touch anything, did you? Oh, me? Of course not. You've got nothing to worry about. What about the medical examiner's report? You were reading it just a minute ago. Did you forget? Uh, I... Uh... The report... Oh, jeez, it's super important. How do we in so much trouble if Detective Cross hears about this? Thanks, Scout. You're welcome, Honor. What do you think of Detective Cross? Honestly, he's kind of scary. I told him I liked his badge and he towered over me like some kind of enormous angry telephone pole. I swear he looks twice as big up close. He just stood there frowning at me for like for hours. And then he pointed at my tie and said it was unprofessional. I like this tie. All I want is to prove to Detective Cross that I didn't kill Blake. You're a smart cookie, Miss Mizrahi, but shouldn't we let the detective do his job? And stay in the break room all night? No thanks. Maybe he knows what he's doing, but it's taking too long. At this rate, the real killer is going to get away before he's even interviewed us. <sighs> I know I'm just an actress in a detective show. Hell, I wasn't even the main character, but I can, but I can help. Maybe, but you're going to need some serious evidence to convince Detective Cross you're not a suspect. Mm. The medical examiner's report says Blake died around 4.30. I left Blake's office way before that. That's great, but can you prove it? I've seen your show. You need evidence. Scout, did you record anything on those cameras of yours? Yes, Honor. I automatically keep a cyclical buffer of the past few hours of visual input. However, I have no way of displaying those images. All that technology they didn't give you a printer. I'll add it to the list. You know, that reminds me of the fancy CCTV system we were supposed to get. Then they trimmed the budget and ended up only getting installed out in the parking lot. Typical management, I'm telling you. It's all we can for this. It's a Wait, are you saying there's CCTV outside? Sure. Never should, no one ever showed me how to use it, but it's there. Bill, the CCTV will prove my alibi. I was in the parking lot when the murder happened. Can you pull the footage to show Detective Cross? Well, in theory, but you need my fingerprint to open the security office door. And I'm supposed to stay here and guard the crime scene. Guarded from who? Everyone else is locked in the break room. What if the murderer comes back? Then Scout will uh, blast them with his death ray. R really? He can do that? Honor, I don't... Yes, that is the thing he can do. Absolutely. Now, could you go get that tape, please? Oh, jeez. Okay. If you're sure, I'll be back as quick as I can. Honor, I don't have a death ray. I know, Scout. Just play along, okay? My first real crime scene. It's nothing like I imagined. I bet you pretended to solve crimes on your TV show. I did. I read so many mystery novels and seen so many movies. It sounds stupid now, but I guess I convinced myself I'd know how to handle a real murder. But now I'm standing here looking at a dead body of my friend and... Bill? Did you get the tapes already? <clears throat> Jesus! Detective Fine... De de Detective Fine will do just cross, thanks. You want to give me an explanation, or shall I skip straight to the handcuffs? Question. I can't wait to see how you're going to try and talk your way out of this. Okay, I can explain everything. How'd you even get in here? <laughs> Through the air vent. The air vent? Who do you think you are, John McClain from Die Hard? Well, if you hadn't locked us up in the break room, I would have used the door like a normal person. Oh, really? My apologies. I didn't realize I should have made it easier for you to tamper with the crime scene. I realize this looks bad, but I got sick of waiting around. You haven't even taken our statements yet. This is real life, not some stupid TV show. Good police work takes time. I'm just trying to find some way to prove I didn't kill Blake. He's my friend. And you thought breaking into the crime scene was going to help your case? Actually, it did. There's solid proof I didn't do it. Bill's just gone to get the security tapes. He's beginning to wonder where he'd gone. 
Maybe you convinced him to leave so you could screw around with the real evidence. You'll see once he gets back. You just have to trust me. Trust doesn't get you very far in my line of work. Have you got any leads yet? Yeah, I'm looking at one right now. Please, detective, I was just trying to help. Being a detective on TV doesn't mean you're qualified to waltz in and take over a real murder investigation. Real police work isn't a game, it's dangerous. And you know the first thing about it. That's where you're wrong. My dad was on the force. The force. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And I suppose he told you all about it. He didn't have to. He'd come exhausted every night. I saw what it did to him. I might not have the I might not I might not have the training, but I understand the job. I know what it takes. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Don't make me keep doing it. <laughs> Don't make me do consecutives of these. Don't <laughs> make me laugh. I've seen your show. You wouldn't last five minutes on the boards. What would you do if the killer showed up right now? I would blast them with my death ray. Beep, 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 beep. <sighs> beep, 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 beep. Uh, he's just kidding, detective. Detective Cross, this is Scout. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. Are you a real detective? Can you help me find my creator? <laughs> You'd better get this flying toaster out of my face before things get ugly. Scout, maybe you should leave the nice detective alone. <laughs> What's taking you so long anyway? We've been stuck in that room for hours. I'm just doing my job. There are lots of things to cover. Security, photography, evidence collection. I've read enough mysteries to know it shouldn't take this long. Something's wrong. So I'm a little understaffed. Nothing I can't handle. Oh, great. It's reassuring to know that Blake's death is so high on the LAPD's list of priorities. Yeah, Central's screwing me around again. But it won't work. I might be old, but I'm not getting pushed into a desk job yet. It takes as long as it takes. And that's the end of it. Yeah, it. Fuck. All right, Ms. Rahi. I think it's time we move this conversation down to the precinct, don't you? Oh, I found it, Honor. I got the security tape. <laughs> nice of you to join us. D -d 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 Detective Cross! Oh, jeez. I mean, uh, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting forgetful in my old age, but didn't I tell you to guard this room? I, I am guarding the room. I mean, I was guard. I just had to go and... Care to explain how Miss Marple over here managed to get in? We just said to make sure nobody got to, to the door. Yeah, I didn't say anything about a hair event. <sighs> so you wandered off and let a murder suspect at the scene of the crime. Alone, with all the evidence. Well, we, when you say it like that, I only went to check the CCTV system. I would have been back sooner had I had, but I had to take the damn thing apart to get at the tape. Couldn't you just press the eject button? There's an eject button. <sighs> so what do you say, detective? Care to see my evidence? You've got five minutes. After that, I'm taking you downtown. That's all I need. Scout, can you scan this? Puzzle start. All right. Ugh, fuck, man. All right, let's fill in the tens. Tens are obvious easies. We've also got, uh, oh, here we go, seven, one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Space one. There we go. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see here. We can fill the rest of these in here. This is a single. And that's the overlap for eight. That's also the overlap for eight there. Let's see. Uh, this row here, two, two. We can put some X's. Oops. We can put some X's in uh, because we've already got two separate and definitely not connected squares here. For these ones, we can put X's here. Boop, boop. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -da. Da, da, da. 
All right, so we've got some columns done also. Ba -da 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 uh, what else here? We can do the two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one. Fill that in. X. Fill that in. Let's see. Fill that. Da 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 da. What is this? A tape? CCTV tape. A new de a new bonus puzzle has been added to Scout's memory bank. There we go. Are you guys keeping up? I hope if I'm if I'm going too fast, let me know. Okay, what are we looking at? This is the security footage of the parking lot earlier this afternoon. Look, there's Bill. Who's that in the background? Looks like they got spray cans. You got a problem with vandals around here, Bill? Them? No, they're just contractors. We got a lot around here. They're not contractors. They're kids. They've got skateboards, for God's sake. Didn't you say you were looking for kids doing graffiti earlier, Bill? <laughs> oh, jeez. As enlightening as this is for some of us, I don't see how it proves anything useful. I'm getting to that, Detective. Bill, can you fast forward to about 4.30 p.m.? <laughs> there, that's it. See? That's me, standing by my car. I spoke to Bill, then Scout. Okay, you were in the parking lot. So what? Uh, Blake was already dead. He died around 4.30 p.m. And the CC and the CCTV footage clearly shows I was in the parking lot. Well, I'll be dead. Not bad for a TV detective. Not bad for a TV detective, huh? I guess not. Yeah. If I can just get you to write... Wait a second. How do you know the time of death? <laughs> Bill, did you let her read the medical report? Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is great. Fuck, this is good. Y'all. Listen up, everyone. I need to keep you here for a little longer. Please, detective. Oh, I've spent the last 20 minutes trying to get my accent to figure itself out. I'd have more luck sorting out the Middle East, isn't it, Governor? If you need something to keep you occupied, start working on those statements. What about me? Can I help out some other way? Scout could... Listen, Nancy Drew, you got lucky with that CCTV, but that was all it was. Luck. Now go home and let the professionals handle this. Hey, how come she gets to go home? She could be the murderer. I've seen evidence that proves otherwise. I don't think she's guilty of it being a pain in my ass. Ass. You, you, you can't keep me locked up in here. What, what if I'm next? Don't worry, babe. If anyone tries anything, I'll whack him with one of my dumbbells. Oh, he's fucking... He's gonna be, uh... uh I'm gonna make him the guy. Hey, don't worry, babe. What's his name? Buzz Lightyear. No, not Buzz Lightyear. Yes, Buzz Lightyear. No, not Buzz Lightyear. Hey, don't worry, babe. Um, uh, fucking, what's his name? Ah, uh, his name! Uh, 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 whatever. If anyone tries anything, I'll whack him with one of my dumbbells. What's his name? The guy from Troy, not Troy McClure. Um, uh, fuck. Uh, whatever. You brought dumbbells with you on a job? You never know when you're gonna find a spare five minutes to work with sweat. Or Johnny Bravo. I can do Johnny Bravo. It could be Johnny Bravo. You know what I mean? This guy definitely did it, by the way. Ugh. A reclusive nun would get what you mean. And she'd think five minutes is pathetic. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oi. What? Wait. Do I find Becky funny? Detective, I'm begging you, you've got to let us out of here. I'm going stir crazy. Isn't it, Governor? Fine, you can leave the goddamn room. Just stay inside the studio grounds, okay? Oi. Oi. I mean it. 
and you try anything, and it'll have you tackled by a patrolman faster. You can say WrestleMania. Huh. Quick question: How cute is the theoretical patrolman? How good is his credit? Does he get on well with his mother? Uh, yeah. If you go home. Yeah. Yeah. Just for the record, you guys are all crazy. I'm putting that in my report. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the goddess, we're free, isn't it, Gov? Ish. I guess I should go home now, like you said. Don't feel bad, babe. You've earned it. You said you were going to prove yourself innocent, and you went out and did it, Governor. Isn't it? I did, didn't I? <sighs> so, what are you waiting for? You're free to go. <laughs> uh oh. You got that look on your face. Mmm. -hmm. <sighs> Don't think you can hide it from me, Missy. Oh, I know that look. That's the honor. That's the honor, Ms. Rahi. I'm not giving in special. Definitely just going back and forth between Ozzy and Brit. <laughs> it's just... I got myself out of trouble, but what about you guys? What about Blake? He gave me my big break. I wouldn't even be here without him. He wasn't just my boss. He was my friend. Why, up until he fired you, innit? But that's just, it, that's just it. It doesn't make any sense. All that I could think of at the time was how angry I was, but looking back, he was so nervous. You've been playing detective too long, babe. You're starting to sound like one, isn't it? Put another, put another detective on the barbie. No, I want, I want British, governor. Governor. Jesus, I'm dead bad. It's not just me. There's something else going on. I can't just leave. Beep, 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 beep. If you want to keep investigating, Honor, I'm here to help. Scout, don't you want to go find a real detective? Ooh. You may not be a real detective, but maybe that's okay. Maybe what I need is a partner. I'm good at finding things, but I'm no good with people. But you convinced Bill to help you. You proved your innocence to Detective Cross. So maybe I don't need a real detective after all, because together we can solve anything. If you want to try, that is. Why not? I think I'm getting to like having you around anyway. How about you, KC? Will you help me look into it? Absolutely! You know I've got your back. Ah, oh, there we go. I got, oh, I fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. But, uh, can I pop to the loo first? I've needed to go for hours and I'm generally, genuinely scared something's gonna burst. Location unlocked. Office. Bum, bum, bum. There's a sink right there, KC. What? What? Oh, 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 what? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to any British. I know we have British listeners. And I know it's like 8 a.m. over there, but I'm very sorry already. Well, look who it is. The lady that's put her, putting the heel into gumshoe. Oh, I'm snappy. Mm. That one needed a bit of work, but you get the idea. I should probably introduce you to Scout. New sidekick? trying to make me jealous. I am Scout. He's some kind of investigation robot, we think. Sounds complicated. Yeah, it's probably easier if we don't... Yeah, it's probably easier if we don't try and explain it. Well? Oi. Well, any, any friend of Honor's is a friend of mine. Nice to meet you, Scout. So I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place with you. I'm sorry. Mr. Mincat says, I'm British. You're doing better than I would at an American accent. Oh, okay. He's, he's half British, half Aussie. And he was raised in both. For, for alternating years. Okay. We're still not any closer to working out who killed Blake. Any ideas? Obviously, we can discount ourselves. That only leaves Becky, Tully, and John. And don't forget Bill. There's no way Bill is involved. He wouldn't hurt a fly. You're right. I don't think you could plan a matter even if you wanted to. Last week I saw him get started by his own reflection, ain't it? Fuck. Don't be mean. He's got a good heart. Did I say you didn't? You can have a good heart and no brain. He's living proof. And you're proof that someone can have neither. Oh ho 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 ho
<laughs> Fuck! That is a lot. Jesus. I'm gonna hold on. Give me, give me a sec. I have to turn that you What do you think about Becky? Could she have killed Blake? That girl can hold a grudge better than Joan and Bet put together. She wasn't exactly on good terms with Blake. Right. Something about a contract disagreement? Don't suppose you heard any details through the gossip grapevine? As usual, she thinks she's not getting enough recognition. I heard she, dem she was demanding $100,000 for marketing. That's not so bad. That's not... So bad. I mean, the show could always use more marketing. Not for the show, for herself. You know, feature articles, billboards, the cover of Celeb Life magazine. The Starshine Awards are coming up and she's determined to win Best Actress this year. Does she really think she can force herself on the shortlist through advertising? That's crazy. That's Becky. But Becky was having none of it. Blake was having none of it. Whatever, whatever. She's been trying to win that award for years. She's desperate. Who knows what she might resort to? What do you make of John? That weirdo with the bum bag? Three out of ten tops. That's not what I meant for once. Fine, fine. Well, they're fans, and then there are fans. Like that girl we met outside the studio last year. She was intense. Like, chain you to a radiator and get all misery on your ass. Intense. How could I forget? She tried to cut off some of my hair. Mm. I'm not sure if John is in the same league of crazy, but... Don't you think it's weird he showed up today? On, of all days? What about that contractor guy? Tully? Such a dour name for such a gorgeous guy. If he wasn't such a creep, he'd be a solid seven. Oh, sure. He tries it on you with... He tries it on with you and Becky. What about me, huh? What am I? Chopped liver? <sighs> Honestly, I really am destined to be alone forever, and I might as well get a cat and start knitting my own jumpers. Oh, babe, don't take this the wrong way, but maybe if you weren't quite so picky, you might have more luck. Ah, a girl should always know her her worth, honor. I wish I'd known that before I married Ryan. <laughs> anyway, let's focus. Do you think Tully is a real suspect? Don't be ridiculous. A murderer? With those eyes? <laughs> this, coming from a man who said Jeffrey Dahmer had a certain mystique. Mm, touche. Be honest. Do you think there's a case against me? Please. How long have I known you now? Four years? You're about as capable of murder as I am of giving my parents a grandchild. I think this... Uh, I. This, out of character. I think this game is supposed to take place in the 90s, because I definitely mentioned the 90s earlier, and also just, like, the kind of whole look that's going on here. Thanks. I never suspected you either, for the record. I should hope not. Besides, if I was going to kill someone, I'd do it with far more flair. Blunt force drama to the head is just so straight, you know? Ugh. Uh, okay, let's find stuff. Ugh, paperwork. Boring. Uh, Danny. Is that a Becky action figure? I knew they made these, but i never actually seen one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kinda jealous. Escargot Express says, the shirt is 80s, though. It, it kinda is, but then she's got the flannel. She's got the... And it said 90s. She's wearing a tie as a belt. Come on. Don't be. They always get the faces wrong. You should've seen mine. It made me look like Dumbo. Good point. If they couldn't get my cheekbones right, what's even the point? Uh, screwdriver. Apple. Uh, oh! Is it that time already? I still don't get why they don't put pockets in women's clothes. Want me to hold on to it for you? That's very good. Back. Ugh. Is there more to investigate? Oh. Puzzle start. I got a 10 here, 2 and 7, 
is a uh, is a single configuration. Uh, three, three, one. That's three, six, seven, eight, nine. No, four, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, that's not a ten. Oh, four and five is, of course. Let's see what else. I think that'll do it for that. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, four, five, six. Bop, bop. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we've got a one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 Hmm. Okay, here's one. On this row six one. We're still not exactly sure whether. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Or, ooh, why did it do that? It shouldn't do that. That's not how that should work. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. But one thing we definitely fuck off. Why is it doing that? One thing we definitely know is that there can't be something here. If there was something here, just say we would not have space for a one. And it would this would conjoin too long to be six, so there must be an X there. Let's see. Uh, oh, here we go. We use an overlap. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's that. Hmm, what else? What else? What else? Oh, here we go. Five on the bottom here. We've got an X here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, three. That's already set. That's all ones. Uh, I think this is is a single configuration. One, two, space. One, two, three. Uh, no, we uh, we can use that later. That's a little more advanced. So if we know that there's an X there, then that that has to be part of six, and that has to be out, and that has to be in. Uh, three at the bottom, so we can get that there. That adds that, and that's set. There we go. What else? Two is definitely there. One is definitely there. That's done there. Boom, that's there. And that call, that row is done. Uh, X is for ones. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, gotta be an X there, which means this has to be the one. And then one, two, three, four. That column gets done. This column, These columns are also done. So that's a four there. That column is done. Two, that column is done. Uh, now we have an edge piece, so we can finish eight there. And one. Oh, we got a coffee pot. Da -da -da -da! Bump. This is great. I love this. What's this liquid on her? That's coffee. I don't know how I'd get through the day without it. I see. So it's kind of like fuel. Like a gasoline. Kind of. But it tastes better. At least it's supposed to. The stuff from our coffee machine on the other hand. I am having difficult understanding. Is this coffee machine a fuel dispenser? I apologize for asking so many questions. Many of my intratextual connections have in my ontological database were lost when I was discarded. You lost me at ontological. Isn't that something to do with insects? I know many things, but the relationship between those things is unclear. I'm trying to rebuild them. I don't know if it's fuel or not, Scout. It's complicated. Not everything can be broken cleanly into simple facts like that. I see. You do. No, but my programming tells me it is a good thing to say when faced with things I don't understand. I see. More investigations here. Maybe. Maybe just always have investigate. Okay. All right, we'll go back. Uh, let's show them the coffee. Alright. Let's go to the office. Let's go to the office. Miss Mizrahi, you're still here? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bill. Hey, Bill. How's it going? Still guarding the crime scene, huh? Yeah, Detective Cross wasn't too happy about getting that tape. I had to talk about a coffee me to the desk. I'm sorry, Bill. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Oh, don't mention it. I'm just glad you're off the hook. I always knew you had nothing to do with what happened to Blake. Thanks. It's good to have you on my side. You and Scout make a great... You and Scout make a great team. 
It's a shame you can't help Detective Cross with the rest of the investigation. Yes, we can. That's exactly what we're doing. You are? He seemed to really match you guys. He kept saying things like, That damn venture, a damn venture into your new flying computer. Well, he didn't exactly give us permission, but there's something bigger behind Blake's death, and we have to find out what. Oh, jeez. Detective Cross isn't going to like that. No one's supposed to touch anything in here. Don't look at me like that. I just don't want to make Detective Cross angry again. I don't think my blood pressure could handle it. Or his. What's your opinion on John Redfern? Like John Redcorn? What the fuck? Oh, we get kids trying to sneak into the studio all the time. I think I just picked the wrong day to try and get an autograph. You don't think he seems kind of intense? Oh, they're all like they're all like that. You ask me, the kid probably got lost and now he's a murder suspect. His poor mother's probably worried sick. <laughs> have you ever seen this Tully guy before? No, I uh, don't think I have. <laughs> and I never forget a face. But that's not unusual for contractors. They come and go all the time. He certainly, he certainly looks big enough to kill someone. But why would Blake pick a fight with a contractor? Also, just, uh... Why would there be a contractor on the last day of set like that? He already said he's got dumbbells. Blunt force trauma. Anyway. I hate to even consider it, but it's possible Becky killed Blake. Did you know they were fighting over her contract? Be Becky killed someone? But she's so nice. Hmm. Have you met Becky? I know she seems rude sometimes, but this part of I think there's a heart of gold in there somewhere. She probably just wants to be understood. Didn't you say that same thing about the guy from accounting who set the offices on fire a few years ago? Oh, you, you can't expect me to be right all the time. Mm. Mm. Thanks again for getting that security tape, Bill. Did you want it back? I'd love to, but I don't know how to put it back in the machine. Maybe, maybe you should just keep it for now. Isn't that the medical examiner's report? You really should give that back to Detective Cross. He's probably got another copy, right? I still can't believe you called through an air vent to get in here. Weren't you scared? Scared of what? I had Scout with me. I just couldn't stand it. I got terrible claustrophobia, you know? When I first started here, they gave me a tiny shack out by the parking lot. It was terrible. With my divorce going on, I ended up having to sleep in there for three months. I lost count the number of times I woke up stuck between my chair and that little desk. Anyway, my point is... Oh, what were you talking about again? Apple. M this was wrong. Why would you show me that? <laughs> okay. da da da, -da. Oh, Nothing to investigate here. Alright. Should you have... Nothing to investigate. Let's make sure we save. Boo doo doo doo. What, back to the break room? No. Uh oh. Is there more investigating to do? I thought we didn't find anything here. We need some sort of evidence. can't investigate here anymore, despite the fact we didn't find much here. What about the main... There's gotta be... What about... What about hmm... We showed him everything, right? The fact that we can investigate makes me think there might be something still here. Let's see, what are we missing? See, this is the part of these like ace detect or ace ace attorney games I don't love. 
Is this like pixel hunting? Hoda! Puzzle start! Alright, let's see here. Two, and seven. That's four, three. Oh, here we go. We've got a, a, some overlap here. So that's bum, 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 bum. Escargo Express says, Roberto Williams would be proud of this pixel hunting. Yeah. Guess she would, huh? Let's see here. I hope this is good. If anybody can figure out what this is before I solve it, uh, you'll, get, you'll get a special treat. Uh, of no cash value. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, space, one, two, three, yeah. Three, three. goes is the briefcase? Probably not. A curling rock? Well, remember where we found it? We found it in the vending machine. Maybe it's a chocolate? What else have we got here? Oh, we've got finished columns. Don't forget when you finish your columns, folks. No, what is that? Oh, ooh, here we go. That's something. Ba -da 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 -da. Got to be a one. One. Da 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 da. da. What is that? Right. Oh, an ID card. Ooh. That's a big clue. Hmm. It's an ID card. Looks like it belongs to Tully. He seems quite forgetful with his belongings. Wait a second. This card says it's a Gridmore Studios ID, but I don't recognize the design at all. I think it's a fake? Sorry, Honor. I have no reference to compare against. Perhaps there's someone more familiar with these cards who can help? Mm. Oh, I know who can help. In the office? With the... Uh, not a gun. He does not have a gun. What do you make of this ID card, Bill? Well, that's a nice card. Feel the weight of that layman? I don't make them like this anymore. I had an uncle who was a big shot in the lamination industry, you know, and he always said, forget the lamination, Bill. It says it's a Gridmore Studios ID, but it doesn't look right. Is it a fake? No, it's just an old design. It went out right around the time I started working here. But that was years ago. Do you really think Tully has had a studio ID for that long? It's possible. Just wait here, I'll go check our files. Oh, I nearly forgot. I found something under Blake's desk. Maybe that scout of yours could have a closer look. That could be evidence. Shouldn't she give it to, detect to Shouldn't she give it to Detective Cross? Uh, I tried, but he was so busy yelling at me for leaving the room earlier that he wouldn't listen. Will you take a look? Puzzle start. Oh, mummy! All right, here we go. Uh, seven here. Four, five, six, seven. So that's a remainder of two on each side. Bum, 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 bum. So we'll get these edges here. Bum, 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 bum. These are all ones here. So it's that. Oh, and in fact, there we go. Those can only be one way. And look, there's our seven. One, two, space, one, two. So we can have. Um, so we can uh, do an overlap here. One, two, one, two. Or. 
one, two, one, two, you see there's an overlap here. Uh, assume that's not there. So there's an overlap here and here. Great. Yeah. Oh, Escargo Express says the bottom row is a gimme. Let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five, one. Yep, there we go. Look at that. There's a two. There's a two. Ba 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 boom. There's the one there. Two is obviously going to be there. There we go. Now we have an edge. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. A remainder of two on each side. So that's how I do, how I count overlapping in my head is not one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. Um, what you can do is go by the edge. Go from one edge. One, two, three, four, five. And whatever remainder you have on the other side is. So we have two remaining on this side here. We should have that much remaining on the opposite side, if, assuming it's a single hint like this. So it makes it easy to guess. To That's how I approximate those, or how I calculate those very quickly. Right, and there's a two. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see, that's done. That's done. And then, boop. What is this? Uh, hair dye. That's hair dye? Uh, oh! Detective rank up! A new bonus puzzle has been added to Scout's memory bank. It's a small bottle, half full of a dark liquid. Oh, is it more of the coffee you told me about earlier? I don't think you want to drink that. It's hair dye. But what is it doing in Blake's office? Perhaps he dyed his hair. It does appear to be a similar tone to Blake's. Strange. We didn't think Mr. Patterson used anything like that. Then again, we all thought my Aunt Agnes regrew a full head of hair at 91. Turned out she'd gone senile and was wearing a carpet sample. <laughs> Bye. Blake didn't dye his hair, but maybe someone else does? Your friend Casey said he's an award-winning hair and makeup artiste. Maybe he could help us more. Good thinking. If anyone around here knows about hair dye, it's him. Now that Bill's gone, we finally got a crime scene to ourselves. We should scan the room and... Ooh. Yeah. Uh, oh, ho hello. Tully, what are you doing here? Me, I was... Uh, I was just... <laughs> uh, it was kind of embarrassing. Can we talk? Tully. Hey there, gorgeous. You got time to talk? This isn't the time or place for a chat. We're standing in a crime scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A crime scene, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and you don't want Detective Cross to find you in here. So what are you doing in here? Yeah. Me, I was just... Uh, looking for my car keys. I get that. Those things all the time. Want me to help look? Hmm. I can move this desk pretty easily. You want to check out it? Wait a sec. How about you just leave the desk? And the body. Where it is. Huh? 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 Yeah, yeah, right. Whatever you say. Yeah. Did you come in here for a reason? For the greatest reason of all. Love. I just wanted to get you alone for a while. There's something between us. Don't you feel it? A few feet of concrete wouldn't be a bad start. What makes you think there's something between us? Ooh. Because I can't stop thinking about you. I was kind of hoping that maybe you feel the same. Uh, you got the detective to believe you're innocent. Maybe you can uh, do the same for me. Then we can go. Look, you're a good looking guy, but this is not the time. One of my best friends is dead. He's literally right here. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. I guess I got carried away. Mm. Hey, Becky single? Uh. So what do you do around here? I don't think I've seen you on set. Oh, you know, whatever comes up. Keep my tools with me and I go where they tell me to go. 
Didn't you say you were a carpenter earlier? Hey, there's carpentry needing done? Sure. There's something needs screwing. I'll do that too. Something is nailing down. Just call. Who's that rap guy? MC Ham something? Hamper? Point is, I'm whatever you need me to be. Except weekends, evenings, and every fourth Wednesday when I do my bodybuilding. Mom taught me three things. Take care of your body, don't cuss, and don't listen to Pa, because he's a goddamn drunk. I'm proud to say I live by those rules every day of my life. When I have kids, I'm going to teach them the same. Mm, oh, maybe, maybe not the last one. You must be pretty strong. You get in many fights. Who, me? <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? Based on a visual assessment, you would easily be capable of killing someone if you wanted. Hey, what are you trying to say? Hey, oh, I'm I'm going back and forth between like kind of New Yorker Italian guy and Southern and fucking what's his name Brock Sampson fucking what's his name? Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Someone. What's his name? What do you think of John Redfern? Could he be a killer? <laughs> Noodle alarms back there. No way. Then again. When I was at school, a scrawny nerd knocked down some other kid with a chessboard. So yeah, John had a weapon or something. Guess it's possible. And what do you think about Becky? Oh, she's pretty, eh? Got one hell of a temper, though. You don't want to get on her bad side. Trust me. I come from a long line of mouthy broads. I'm used to it. Oh! You think that kind of anger might have been enough for Becky to kill Blake? I doubt it. My mom was always yelling, but she never killed nobody. Hey, there's a little Elvis in there, too. Though, well, I would explain where Pa went. What do you make of Detective Cross? Ain't much like the detectives on TV, is he? What you really need is someone like them on... Oh, what's that show again? Murder something something? Miss... Miss you something? Mistletoe? Miss Terry. It's Murder Miss Terry. Hey, uh, yeah. That's right. All right, Shane. I bet they'd sort this whole mess right out. Say, now that you mention it, you kind of look like one of the chicks on that show. Anybody ever tell you that? <sighs> yeah, I get that a lot. Let's not show the ID badge yet. I think Blake's killer dyed their hair as part of a disguise. Do you? Me? Dye my hair? Baby, I'm young. I'm virile. Seen grays up on my head? Well, no, but I didn't think so. You're only as old as you feel. My Gramps used to say. Yeah. Maybe died bungee jumping at 92, so, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Uh. Did you want your screwdriver back? Huh? Well, that's where my screwdriver went. I thought I'd lost it. You did lose it, and then we found it. Oh yeah, I remember now. It's cool. It's your gift. Thanks? What the hell is that? Some kind of fancy earplug? Got my own, thanks. Eh, whatever, we'll show it. Hey, how come you got an ID with my face on it? Ain't that... Identity theft or something, baby? Baby. This is your ID card. We found it in the break room. Shoot, I must have dropped it. I really gotta get new pockets for these overalls. How long have you worked here? Not long. A few weeks, I guess. It's him, he did it. Really? Bill said this ID card design is old. Like, a decade old. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're telling me. That's what, I don't know what to tell you. That's what they gave me when I started here. Hey, bada bing. Come on, baby. You know you can trust me. Yeah. Da -da. Let's investigate. Let's do some puzzles, please. This is all very good murder mystery. I do want to do some puzzles and stop reading for like a minute. Oh, puzzle start. All right, let's see what we got here. Sides here. Oop. Oop. There we go. 
little, a, a little responsiveness on this interface is a little slow, a little, a little clunky. If there are keyboard shortcuts, I would like to be using them. Generally. Let's see here. That's. Da, 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 da. Da. Okay, so uh, here we go. Here, this column here, two one 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 one. Uh, we know that there needs to be a two at the end, at the top end, um, and we can't fill in this square because that would make a three, and we don't have any three hints. So we can know that these are twos, and those fill out the ones. Oh, and that fills out the rest. Oh, okay. And also these are single configuration rows. Two, one, 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 one. Add those up. That's four plus two is six. Seven, eight, nine, ten for the in betweens. There we go. Escargo Express says, this is going to be a Star, a Star Trek style mystery where the obvious suspects are innocent and it's the one person who barely showed up in the plot or the victim themselves, isn't it? I would say it is unlikely to be the victim themselves only because it was blunt force trauma. Right? I would think. I would think. What do I know? Damn, damn near nothing. I didn't know about that. What is this? Oh, is it, uh, oh, it's mail. Blake's mail. <sighs> Look at all these letters. Blake must have been going through the fan, fan mail. We get stacks of the stuff every month. What for? Nothing really. People just want to say they like the show. I guess it helps them make them feel closer to us. If they want to be closer, why don't they visit the studio? I mean, emotionally, Scout. Fans get to know us through the show, and they write to us. Well, mostly they write to Becky, but you get the idea. Here, I'll read you one. To whoever wrote episode 6. I hope you trip and fall on your pencil, bleed all over the floor, and die in agony. <laughs> I would not advise allowing this person to get closer to you, emotionally or otherwise. <laughs> Here's another one. Mr. Pattison, you've chewed up Miss You've chewed up murder Miss Terry and crapped out a sorry excuse for a new season. If I ever have the misfortune to meet you in the street, I'll open you up and make you eat your own guts. Then maybe you'll know how you made the fans feel. This isn't fan mail, it's hate mail. There are fourteen envelopes in here with the same handwriting. I calculate a ninety eight percent possibility they're all from one person. And they're all signed with the same thing. Showmaster 66. Could it be some kind of nickname? Assigning death threats, even with a nickname, seems like a good way of getting caught. So we're not exactly dealing with a criminal mastermind here. Well, let's keep investigating. Puzzle start. Uh, let's see. Uh, two, six, seven, eight, nine. No, not quite. Uh, seven, I think, is this. Uh, one, da, 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 da. Go for that seven level. Uh, six, two freebie? Oh, yeah. Six and two, because we have nine here. Uh, all right, let's do this. And backseat gaming is allowed. This is the only time I'm going to really be lying. It's one of the few games where backseat gaming is quite all right. Uh, so we know that this has to be an X because of the row hint here. We have a two, one, two. If this filled in square is part of the one, there's no space on the left for the two. So this must be part of the leftmost two which means that that two won't reach here and there are no clues to the left of it. So that must be an X. Um, let's take a look at this 3-5 here because the 3-5 is not a complete gimme, but it's gonna give us a lot of breathing room. Uh, so let's uh, figure out the overlap from both sides. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, we'll do it on this side. One, two, three, four. Four, five, one, two, three. So we have overlap here, 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 and here. There we go. So 
now we've added a bunch of uh, a bunch that we can get. Uh, we can know. Uh, let's look at the five column here. Um, oops. Four. Possible five, and then the rest can't be. Uh, this is ones only in this column. Let's see here. Two, one, two. We've got a two clue here, and this must be the clue, the two clue on the right. So that's that. We also know that this, uh, much like this two, one, two, this filled in square must be part of the two clue. So we have to put an X here. And now there's only one configuration where two and one will fit here. Two, space, one. Look at that. Oh, we have edge, we have edge clues. Look at that. There we go. That's easy. That was easy. Mm, what else? What else? What else? What else? Mm, oh, here we go. Six, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, one thing that you want to count or want to be aware of is when uh, you could have, when you have multiple hints, the six and the one here, that are split by existing crosses. So if we had more space here, one thing you would want to you would want to consider when starting to calculate your overlaps is if I had not only if I had six a six somewhere on this side and a one somewhere on this side, but also if I could fit six and one here. If that's the case, then you're not ever going to have in this example. You wouldn't have a one on any side of this, or you wouldn't be able to uh, have an overlap that you could guarantee. Uh, that you knew be on this side. You couldn't even guarantee that there is a one on this side. Now, we have enough space here where I think that we can uh, because if we did one, two, three, four, five, six, there's only one space here, so you couldn't uh, fit the one on the left side of this cross here. So we know that there's a one, one of these two is it, and the six is filling in the rest here. Uh, this four is definitely there. Let's see, we, so we know we've got some bottom uh, edge uh, hints here. So there's that. Five, that's that. Da, 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 da. Um, let's see, Escargo says you have row two. We do. So the two is there, the one is there, and we can only fit the two there. Boom. Finish that column. There we go. There's the four. Uh, the f these have to be connected because otherwise you have a three. You would only have a three and a blank space here. We don't have any three hints, so that's got to be a four. Kill that. Fill that in, and now we finish that column. Uh, let's see here. What else? What else? Oh, here we go. We've added we've added some here on the seven row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's an X there. Uh, th this row is done. That column's done. Columns are done. Uh, oh, here, there's a there's some some, some something here. Is six filled in square so that could be seven that could be seven but that cannot be the seven also that won't be it because we've got the six here so that fills in there finishes there finishes there wraps that up this column is done let's see what we've got here so there's one here oh, so we know we have two ones here we have a one and a one so it has to be one blank one somewhere look at that one blank one Da -na -na -na. This is a reel of no. It looked like a reel of film. Phone receiver. Ooh. That's odd. Blake's phone was left off the hook. The positioning suggests he had only just lifted the receiver when he was struck. Maybe he was trying to make a call, but the killer got to him. Let's get some more clues. I like this. I like that you do puzzles to get the clues. Oh, we can't check the the trash bin is turned over. Ah. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna get cough drop so I can protect my little throaty okay let's take a look at some gimmies here four three two 
まあ、もう、うん。Alright, what else? Uh, let's see. Three, six, that's two remainder. There we go. One, two, three, one. One, one, two, three. So that's one. That three has overlap. Let's look here. Oh, two and two. So here we go. One, two, two. We already have the one. We can't fit both twos into this gap. So this definitely has to be the two. There's an edge there. What else? Uh, oh, this is already started. So that has to be the two there. And that column is done. Um, move that uh, up. Uh, oh, that has to be finished in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Space one, two. So there's a remainder of one on both. So when you do overlap for multiple pieces, the other thing that you can do is uh, do the same remainder uh, sort of calculation where you count out um, uh, the pieces and use the remainder. Uh, to uh, sort of subtract and tell you what must be overlap. You can do that with multiple um, multiple hints here. So this three and two, we're going to do it here. One, two, three. One, two. There's a remainder of one. Now, this is helpful when you have multiple uh, hints greater than one, which is where some of the trouble gets. You know, ones can be kind of tough. Um, but now you take the remainder for each unit individually. So a remainder of one would mean here, here, and here. Notice that that doesn't make any gimmies. We are, these are, this is just what has to be filled in because all of these remainders could be uh, in multiple configurations. Okay. Uh, oop. I don't know why, I don't like that it does it like that. That's not, that's not good UI. Okay. Uh, let's keep taking a look. Uh, four, one, two, three, four. Remainder of two here, so that's two. Uh, we've got a singular six here, which means uh, there we go. What else? Roll, roll. Mm, mm, here we go. Uh, two, three, one. Uh, the two that are here that must be part of the three. Even if this was filled in for the three. That would not fit any, uh, that wouldn't reach over here, so that's an X. This is an, uh, an overlap, and that finishes the row here. What else? This is, uh, so we have a 3, 1, 1. The only, uh, we have two already filled in, so that would be for the three, which doesn't reach up here. That does not give us space over here for the two on this row, so that fills in this here. That column is done. What else? Mm -hmm. We've uh, started, uh, we've got to start here on this row, the 3, 2, 1, uh, and it can only fit there, so that's good. Here we go, look at this column, 3, 2, 1. We have two filled in, a blank, and one filled in, because we don't have any four hints. Uh, this must be the separation between these hints, and that creates an edge that we can use to fill that in very easily. Uh, let's see, let's do a little more work here. That's a two, that's that, uh, that must be the three, that finishes the four, finish that because that's an edge. Uh, the three is done, there's a two, one, two, three. That's a single configuration, that's done. Uh, da, 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 da. That row is done. Uh, this column is done, bump bump. What is this? Calculator? A tape recorder! Maybe he recorded his death! I feel like I closed my rings today. Congrats, everybody. I closed my rings. Maybe he recorded his death. Oh my gosh, a bee already. We must be near the end of this episode. Hmm. Magnetic storage. VHS. Betamax. No. Ah, this is an audio cassette recorder. Maybe Blake used it for dictating. Looks like there's a tape inside. It's got something written on the label, SM66, tape one. SM66 could be a code. Initiating Bruce, brute force algorithm. Oh, there we go. stop, stop. We're never gonna figure out anything like that. 
just play the tape and we'll go from there. Okay, initiating playback. Okay, we should have the cop in here. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? Play dumb with me. You know, you you really want me to... Is there anything I can else I can do? Clock's ticking, Blake. All right, all right, just don't... Uh, finishing up on set right now, I'll go... Oh. My apologies, Honor. The recording seems to be damaged. Some of the audio has been lost. I heard enough. Blake was being threatened. I just wish I could tell who he was talking to. There may be more information. I'll continue playback. Okay, it's done. I told her she's off the show. Jesus, how am I pointing this to the network? It's not my problem. But we're done now, right? So, rest of the photos and get out. I'm so fast. Where? Hold on to these, Justin guy. That was never part of the deal. This is. I'm down, Blake. I'm down. It's supposed to be over. I'm what I should have done from the start. Of... We're going from that phone. I'm not going to warn you again. Get your hands off of me. like they were blackmailing him somehow. Someone wanted me off the show so badly they... I am sorry, Honor. I wish I could do more to identify the killer's voice. I guess you could tell us how it sounds. Visual novel ass. It is not your fault, Scout. We'll figure this out somehow. And finding out who this tape recorder belongs to is our next step. Let's show Tully some... Evidence! Tape recording. This tape recording has audio of Blake's death. Someone was trying to blackmail him. I need answers, Tully. Where were you at 4.30 today? Yeah, I don't really keep track of time most days. I think I was working on the set. Do you have any proof? What do you think all these tools are for? I ain't here to build a dollhouse, babe. Eh. Uh, we found these letters on Blake's desk. Have you ever written to the studio? This is kind of embarrassing, but uh, I don't really write much. Mostly stick to invoices and Christmas cards, and even then I make mistakes. One Christmas I accidentally sent bright red lingerie to the hardware store instead of to my girl at a time. Would have been fine since she woke up on Christmas morning to an invoice for 14 feet of plywood. She's still unpaid. What about the name? Showmaster66. Do you recognize it? That's a name? Sounds more like an exercise bike. <laughs> All right, let's go find out about this. Is there any else I can? Is there any more? In okay, good. We're done investigating here. Office. Nowhere at the office. Break room. Oi, mate. Got some evidence for me. Pip, pip, and all. Let's talk about the hair dye. Can you tell me anything about this bottle? <gasps> where, where did you get this? This is color brand hair dye. Trust me, Honor. You don't want this stuff anywhere near your head. Bill found it. Bill found it in Blake's office. Not a product you'd recommend, I take it. You better be using. You'd be better off using spray paint. Throw all that trash out years ago. I have been very strict with our suppliers. I spent a long time explaining it. All the painful ways it could be inserted into their sales guide if they tried to flog me anymore. So someone else must have brought it in. This could belong to the killer. If you ask me, you'd have to be a psycho to use that stuff. But why would a murderer need hair dye? A quick disguise, maybe? <gasps> ah! What the hell was that? I think it was Becky. Oh, sorry, Becky. It sounded like it came from the set. Do you think she found another boy? You better go check. Uh, me? Well, I'd love to be with that to back you up. I <laughs> would, but you should probably stay here. Just in case the killer tries to hide. Fridge. You know. I can now go to the place that I must have 
had to travel between many times already. Right. Look, it's clearly between these two. Okay. What's that? Beep, 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 beep. How strange. This room doesn't seem to be finished. It's a TV scout. This is where we film Murder Miss Terry. Becky? Becky, are you there? <laughs> Velvet Lips says I should redo Harry Potter. God, no. It would be the worst. Get away from me, you freak! Ugh, I said get away from me! What's going on? Ah! <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that, you idiot! <laughs> are you okay? Is someone else... Oh, crap. He's coming this way. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. If he asks you, you didn't see me. Got it. If who asks? <laughs> Becky, please. I just want to read you something. <laughs> oh, hi, Honor. Say, did Becky come this way? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Dang it. Guess I'll just wait here in case she comes back. This guy with glasses. Who have never met is also suspicious. John. I can't believe it. I'm really here on set. What are you doing in here? Why did Becky scream like that? Oh, well, I, I guess I surprised her. I never realized TV studios were so dark. So you were just standing around in the dark on an empty set. Not just any empty set, the actual set where Murder Mystery is filled. <sighs> yeah. It was. So you're a pretty big fan of the show. Absolutely. Miss Terry, Becky is pretty much my idol. D d don't get me wrong, I, I, I love your character too. Miss Terry and Detective Oates are the greatest TV detectives of all time. Thanks, John. It's just a shame it's all over. Over? You don't think they'd c c cancel the show, do you? How can we carry on without Blake? He was the one who brought us all together. Is his show as much as anyone else's? But, but, but you, ha you have to keep going. Think of it as a, a, a tribute to him, a memorial season. <laughs> Wouldn't it be the best way to honor his work? Even if we wanted to, there'd be no detective votes. One of the, thing one of the last things Blake did was cancel my contract for next season. You're kidding! I can't have Terry without Oates. It's ridiculous! You think that's ridiculous? Wait until you hear about the talking poodle. Nah! As soon as I get home, I'm posting on Alta TV. Don't miss Terry about this. They'll be writing. They'll be angry letters, black faxes, riots. Hmm. You really want Becky to like you, huh? Yeah. She's so cool. I just wish she'd talk to me. No matter what I say, she looks at me like some kind of n something nasty that she stepped in. It's gonna be nasty. I do not understand. Oh, hey, hold on. I did, oh, I've, I've forgotten Scout! I don't understand. Uh, Becky has showed no signs of interest in you. I bet you keep trying. Because she's Miss Freaking Terry. I mean, I, I might have no chance, but I gotta try. You know, she tells me to go to hell. At least she spoke to me. I can't, I can't decide if that's sweet or just creepy. You don't happen to know she's in the palestry, do you? I don't think so. Why? N no reason. <laughs> Wait, what do you think about Tully? He's such a jerk. All muscle and no brains. And the way he's always flirting with Becky makes me sick. If you're trying to find a murderer on here, he's big enough to do it. And stupid enough to not hide it properly, either. Why women always go for meatheads like him when they're good guys like me just waiting to be given a chance? Gee, I don't know. Maybe if you respected them as people instead of acting like they owe you something, that'd be a good start. Oh, sure. What would you know about it? Well. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. All this murder stuff has got me pretty tense. Do you dye your hair, John? Well, I thought about dyeing my hair some kind of wild color. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> That's maybe the second one. Anyway, I decided not to. 
people might think it's some kind of pop star, and I don't want that kind of attention. Plus, my mom says it's really bad for your hair, so. Any of these letters look familiar to you? N no? Why would they? It's a wild guess. You've sent fan mail before, right? I bet you know our address by heart. I've also memorized the studio phone and fax numbers, and my 10-digit membership code for Miss Terry's Junior Investigators Club. But, but I haven't sent any fan mail recently. And who signed these so-called letters anyway? You won't find my name at the bottom, that's for sure. True, they're signed by Showmaster66. It's a pretty cool handle, but I don't recognize it. Yeah. Uh. Where, where, where did you get that? I mean, I've seen a cassette recorder before. There's nothing special about that one. Quite the up. Mm. Mm. Wait, I can't do Scout and John in the same conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the opposite. The recording quality was so bad that most of the audio is unintelligible. I'm. Yeah, oh, what? Oh, man. I knew I shouldn't have. Uh, mm, shouldn't have what? <laughs> shouldn't, shouldn't have. You're trying. You're trying to sell me some cheap tape recorder just because you played the thing of oats? You were doing Saturday. Hang on. He didn't probably buy any of I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just wanted to know if you recognized it. Oh. Well, okay then. I've never seen it before in my life. Suspicious! So we found a stack of hate mail and an audio tape, both in the room where Blake was murdered. And analogous analysis suggests both of these belong to the same person. Showmaster Zaniacs. At the same time, the recording tells us Blake was killed because someone wanted me fired from the show. There's a 70.4967% chance that the hate mail was sent by the same person. Who good, Blake? We're dealing with some kind of crazy fan, and you're big on the online forums. You must know something, John. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Please, I... Uh. Don't worry. I think I already know who Showmaster66 really is. What about Tully? He could be some kind of psycho, f psycho fan from your online forums. Tully couldn't have written those letters. I doubt he can even write his own name. He doesn't care about this show. You know, like the real fans. Real fans like who? You can't expect me to know everyone online. What do you think I am? Yahoo! Then it must be you. It's you, isn't it? Your, your showmaster, so you X. It's my accusation voice. I, 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 fine. You got me. It's all mine. The tape recorder, the letters. You killed Blake. What did he ever do to you? N no, I didn't kill anyone. You have to believe me. Uh, Ms. Rye. Yeah, Batman. Yeah. What the hell do you think you're doing? Just in time, Detective. I've identified the murder of Blake Patterson. <sighs> You're just not gonna quit, are you? You know what? Fine. It's about time you learn this ain't as easy as you think. Who's the killer, and what's your proof? See, I don't like this because it's definitely not this guy. It's definitely Tully. I'm pretty, sh pretty sure. Given that if his name is Showmaster66, if you assume like 66 is a birth year, like, Tully is in good shape. He's in good enough shape that it could be him. Like, he's like a secret old guy. Just stay calm and think it through. You've got this. Oh, wait. I guess, like, I think this is one of those things. Like, in all these Ace Detective, uh, or uh, Ace Attorney style games, you kind of have, you are not allowed to skip ahead. I'm pretty sure it was Tully, though. The hate mail was sent to Blake by someone calling themselves Showmaster66, a pseudonym of John Redfern. Yeah, that does not... Yes, I sent the letters, but only because they were ruining my show. 
He also planted this tape recorder at the scene of the crime. N no, I mean, y yes, I hid the tape recorder in there, but I was only trying to hear about the next season of Miss M Murder Miss Terry. I only wanted to find out what was going on behind the scenes. It's the only reason I'm here today, I swear. <laughs> y you believe me, right? You think I seriously killed anyone, do you? Death threats. Oh, death threats. Trespassing. Planting a surveillance device. You'd better come with me. I want to search that backpack you left in the break room. You mean you're going along with this? <laughs> What about Tilly? He could have killed Blake. We did the security guy. I bet he's the murderer. Wait, wait, let's not do anything crazy. Yeah, move it. Now. What about me? You've done enough. Just get back and let me handle this. Yeah. <sighs> That's wrong, it's Tully, I'm pretty sure. You're really detective necessary. Can you just listen to me for a second? Didn't get right. What's all the noise? <laughs> John was about to open. John was about to open his backpack for me. What for? I guarantee you all this nerd is carrying on is a bunch of toys and bubblegum cards. Maybe, but there have been some serious accusations made. I need to see inside that bag. I <laughs> don't. Just, just see. Who? Miss Kyle? What's she got to do with this? Don't look at me. I've got no idea what he's babbling about. I, I just. It's embarrassing. I'd rather, rather not. Yeah. Fine. I'll open it for you. Here. Wait. Don't open that bag, detective. What the hell do you want? Honor, come get this flying rust bucket out of here. It's obviously not functioning. If this is the killer's bag, it may be dangerous. I do not advise opening it without proper precautions. Dangerous? I want a bomb? Yeah. There's, n there's no bomb inside my bag. That's exactly what a mad bomber would say. Don't you dare open that bag while I'm in here. I'm not qualified to handle bombs, damn it. I'll have to call it in. Needing the bomb squad for a bag full of toys. This is a new low. Maybe they're right. Maybe I am getting too old for this kind of shit. This kind of sh shit. I could do a subsurface scan of the bag without opening it. It's not 100% accurate, but it may help. You can do that. And it's safe. There's only a very small chance of accident detonation. Statistically insignificant, really. This crazy... This crazy tin can is going to kill us all. <sighs> Do the scan. Ooh, a 10 by 15. All right, so they're kind of giving us an easy 10 by 15, it seems. Let's see here. Oop, no, I fucked that up. Undo that. Undo that. Undo that. Undo that. I d this this the 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 mouse controls are nothing to write home about. Da da da. <gasps> Is that an award? An award statue. Da 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 do da 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 da
Good news, detective. There is no bomb inside the bag, although I am detecting a large, solid metal object. Let me have a look. Yeah. It's buried under all these sheets of paper. Looks like some kind of poetry. <laughs> this one's called The Eternal Mystery, an ode to Becky Call. What? Ew. Come, we'll come back to that. Let me see what this metal thing is first. It looks like a trophy. What's this doing in here? Yeah. Get yeah, that, that. That's not mine. Someone must have put it in there. I'm being framed. I recognize that. It's a Starshine Award. Why is John carrying a TV award in his backpack? He must have stolen it from Blake's office. And look, it's got blood on it. What? Well, well. No wonder you didn't want us to look inside your backpack. I, I, I don't know how they got in there, I swear. I just didn't want everyone to see my poetry. I know it's not very good. It was supposed to be just for Becky. But now you think I'm some kind of weird loser. And a murderer? Don't forget murderer. Why may I kill one of the people responsible for my favorite TV show? I might not have liked some of the new episodes, but you guys are my heroes. Save it for the interrogation room. You're going to wish you'd spent your money on retaining a good lawyer instead of a bunch of collectibles. John Redfern, I'm arresting you under for the murder of Blake Patterson. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can and anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's just desperate. You saw all the evidence. This, clay, this case is open and shut. Eh... Uh. You need to go home and take it easy. Get your head straight. It's been a long day for us all. None of that is right. Absolutely none of what just happened is right. Oh, what a day. Babe, I'm just glad it's over. I can hear a cold glass of Chardonnay calling. But it's not over, is it? Not for me. What are you on about? Got the bad guy. Or did you not notice Detective Cross frog marching him out of here? Yeah, but Blake's still gone, and it was all because of me. Don't be daft. We didn't kill him. But John wanted Blake to fire. But John wanted Blake to fire me. Not Becky. Not you. Me. If I wasn't on the show. Blake might still be alive. Forget the gloss. I'm sensing this is more of a bottle of Chardonnay situation. Maybe too. Mm. You're right. I probably just need some time to relax and process everything. Absolutely! You need some downtime, babe. We hit the town, my treat. In this great drive place just around the corner. Can't we just hang out at my place instead? I don't want to. I don't know if I want to deal with other people right now. No problem. Got some stuff to pack up, so I'll meet you out in the parking lot in 10. Beep, beep, beep. Reminder, we still haven't found your car keys, Honor. Damn, I forgot about that. Casey, can we make it 20? Sure. Been stuck here for hours already. It's another 20 minutes. Isn't it? It is definitely not the guy! Actually, it might be Casey. It almost, it almost makes me think it's Casey, but it's not. It's definitely Tulsi Gabbard. What's his name? Hmm. Guess KC must still be packing up. And we can't leave until we found your car keys. I'm pretty sure I didn't drop them out here. They must be inside somewhere. Let's take a look in the office. And that's where we were. We worked through a lot of great episodes in here. And Blake was always ready to talk if I needed something. <sighs> now, I know it's the same room, but... It feels so different. Understandable. And many things have been moved. I detect 4,913 differences in object position and orientation since my last scan. Cross must have had a team in here to collect any last pieces of evidence. At least they've finally taken Blake away. He deserves some peace. Puzzle start. Alright. That's five, seven, eight, no. Uh, eight should be two left over. Seven should be three left over. 
four, and three with two left over. Okay, that's two. Boop, boop, boop. One, two. Uh, five. Five. Three close that. Two close that. That's one of the ones. I think it's gotta be like that. Four, four, doodly do. Hmm. Two, two. Okay, so that's a two. One, two, one, two. Oh, my PlayStation made a noise. It made a noise. I did not. Want, I did not like to hear. Okay. So that's four there. That ends those. Three, two. There we go. Mm -mm. What else? What else? What else? One space two. That's a f overlap. One two three. Oh, that's done. That's done. Oh, that's three. Two, right there, two, that's finished, that's there, that's there, boom, 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 close that, what else, what else, two can't go there, the one has to go there, that one has to go there, that's nothing, that's the two, that's the three. There's your one. What is this? A uh, compact? Photograph. Photographs. <gasps> uh oh. It's a Polaroid. Cross must have missed it when he took the rest of the evidence. Uh, wait a second. Didn't Blake mention photographs on the audio tape? They were using them to blackmail him. The photograph seems to show two people engaged in some form of wrestling. Yeah. Oh, God. They're not wrestling. They're... Um, I'll explain later. So who are the two people in the picture? Obviously, that's Blake. So I guess that's his... Wait a second. That's not his wife. No wonder he didn't want these pictures to get out. A scandal like this would have ruined him. There's something written on the other side. Get rid of Honor Mizrahi, or this goes public. Uh, that confirms it. Blake was blackmailed, and blackmailed into firing me. Detective Cross can add that to the list of charges against John. I just don't get why he hated me so badly. According to his letters, he was upset about recent episodes of the show. True, but he was so excited to meet me and Becky. He didn't seem to hate me at all. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Honor, wait. I just ran a comparison on the writing from the back of the photograph. It doesn't match the handwriting on John's letters. He could be innocent? I don't think I'm qualified to make that judgment, but I don't believe he took this photograph. And if he wasn't the one blackmailing Blake, he might not be the killer after all. Told you. We have to take this to Detective Cross. Blake's murder is still out there. Maybe you dropped your keys in here. Shall I scan the room for them? It's worth a try. You do know what keys actually look like now, right? Only one way to find out. No, we need to... I mean, I want to do all... Okay, are we really... Huh. Uh, okay, so we're gonna set. A. A. Oh, hey, Honor. John will be down at the station with Detective Cross by now. I wonder how the interrogation's going. I was onto him from the start. As soon as he came into the break room, I was like, he's the murderer, but no one wanted to listen to me. <sighs> Seriously, Honor. Sometimes it's exhausting being right all the time. Yeah, it must be awful. 
It's so unfair. Everyone knows the show is ruined now that Blake's gone, so I'll probably never get my Star Shine Award. And I missed my party. This day has been a total disaster. I just wanted to be over. You know, you're free to leave, right? I bet you could still make that party. <sighs> I could, but I've already missed the paparazzi opening window. It'd just be a waste of time. I thought you wanted these parties to meet people, not just to get photographed. You think I'm going... You think getting anywhere in Hollywood is about networking? It's all about column inches, honor. You go to a party, get snapped looking glam on the way in, then get snapped again on the way out, making sure not to look too sloppy, of course. Get a snap the next day with a giant coffee and huge sunglasses, and you've got a double-page spread in celeb life. Or you could just marry some rich guy and step over all the people who spent years working for their dream, but you'd know more about that than me! <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with getting a Starshine Award? You know you're a good actress. You don't need an award to prove it. That award is my dream. I wanted to give. I wanted to win Best Actress since I was a little girl. I'm not gonna give up now. Don't you think it's a little unhealthy to focus on it like you do? It's healthy to have goals, Honor. I know I'm a good actress, but I want everyone else to know. I want to be able to shove that award in their face and say, "See, I made it." <laughs> yep, S sounds totally healthy to me. Hey. Hey. Is that a Star Shine Award? Let me see that. Oh, it's just her best new show. Forget it. Photographs. I just found this Polaroid of Blake. Did you know he was having an affair? No, but I can't say I'm surprised. He never did keep any of his promises. Like the time he promised me I'd win Best Actress in my first year in the show. Tape recorder. Uh, I thought John was a. I thought John was a fan. Why was he sending hate mail? Seems he didn't like the way the show was going. One of different writers, I guess. Why do all these freaks think that we owe them something? Don't they realize they're watching our show? Hair dye? Hey, watch it! One slip and I'll end up a brunette! Good stuff. Alright, we gotta find my keys. Uh, a nine, ten. Hey, here we go. Let's see, three and five is not everything, but two, three, four, five. That's a one remainder. That's pretty close. And that is a done. So that's that. That's that. Bam, 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 bam. What else we got? Five, one, two is eight, nine, ten. There we go. So that's four here, three there, three, two, one, one, four, four. Let's see what else we got. Three, bop, bop, bop. Go, da, da, da. Uh, ooh, the column is done. Three can't fit there, can only go there. That column's done. Three is there. That's the third one. That won't be anything that fills the rest of that row. What else? That column's done. That finishes the row. That finishes that column. Finish. Uh oh. Oh, I fucked up. Bump, bump. It's always good when you can save it. Sometimes you fuck up and you need to save it. Detective rank up! New bonus puzzle has been added to Scout's memory bank. Hey, you actually found them! I did! I did! As Bogey once said, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Bogey? Yeah. Humphrey Bogart? Uh, don't tell me you don't know Casablanca! Casablanca, the largest city in Morocco. Not the place, the movie. It's a classic. I don't think I've ever watched a movie before. You'll love it. As soon as we get out of here, we're watching it together. 
All right, let's. Is anyone in the break room? Do 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 do. Casey said he'd meet me. Okay. Oi, there you are. I can't wait to pour the drinks, put on some music, and relax. Maybe we can still salvage what's been, let's face it, a bloody awful day. About that, can't wait. You're flaking on me? Sorry, I need to talk to Detective Cross. I found something and I think John is innocent after all. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine in a jail cell for one night. I'll just remind him of his basement. I'm being serious, Casey. I feel terrible. I convinced Cross to arrest him, and now he's out there on his own, probably handcuffed to a table. How would you like it? Don't... Not exactly my scene, but someone says I should be less picky. See? Eh, eh. Sorry, I don't mean to such be an ass. It's just I've barely seen you outside of work lately. We miss our catch-ups. I know. Divorce isn't as simple as they make it seem on TV. There's always something to sign, or some lawyer. How about tomorrow? We can do the whole drinks and music thing. Maybe watch a movie? Would you believe Scout's never seen Casablanca? Play again, Scout. I am sorry, Casey. I like the equipment to display. Oh, no. I, I didn't mean... You know what? Don't worry about it. You two had better go free your lost little boy. If he is innocent, he needs someone like you on his side to show him, back, show him the way back to Neverland. All right. LAPD precinct number 13. Are you sure you don't mind canceling tonight? <sighs> it's fine. This is just the downside of being friends with someone who's nice, I suppose. Hey, I balance you out. From the yin to your yang, the sunny to your share. Are you trying to sh imply share isn't the nice one? Careful, there might be another murder in the cards today. Oh, I feel like I got that one. What about you? What are you going to do now? I'm booked to work a photo shoot tomorrow afternoon. Murder and Miss Terry might be on summer break, but this guy here shows hell island. You're in demand. My acting coach always used to say to book all the jobs you can, because one day there won't be any. Oh, sorry, babe. I didn't mean to. Hey, don't sweat it. I'm happy for you, really. At least things are going well for one of us, right? I wonder if they'll cancel the show now that Blake's gone. I'm not sure. He was the creator. I can't imagine Murder Miss Terry without him. But it was doing well in the ratings. It, it makes a lot of money for the studio. Don't be surprised if they find a way to keep it going. I just don't know if I could handle another year of Becky without you around. You know, you could probably get your job back. Blake only fired you because he was being blackmailed. Maybe. But it doesn't feel like now's the time to ask. Oh, sorry. I know Blake's not even in the ground yet, but... Did you possibly reverse the last decision he ever made? Dang. Yeah, that'd be cold even for you. Hey, I, I'm not cold. I just take a while to warm up. But I'm room temperature, at least. <laughs> um, take a look at these photos. Look at these photographs. Ooh. Uh, oh, God. Is that Blake? They're the naked! Oh, why in God's name are you carrying that around with you? We found it in Blake's office. There's more. Please tell me you're not about to pull out a sex tape. No, just look at the photo again. Fine. But I'm sending you the bill for my therapist. That doesn't look like Blake's wife. Because it's not. This is how Blake was getting blackmailed. <gasps> Bloody hell! Still not a surprise he was up to no good. What powerful man in this town isn't? They forced him to fire me, and when he tried to call the police, they killed him. <sighs> I can't believe John was capable of all that. He seems so... harmless. That's where it gets interesting. The scout says this isn't John's handwriting. The blackmail has nothing to do with him. And that's why you're going? To show this to Cross? Yeah, you're right. This is important. Go on then, stop hanging around here and go rescue the poor sod. Like, what's so hard to get that award? And then it gets used to... Yeah. It's kind of ironic, don't you think? Why is everyone getting up on poor Lannis about that? Who cares what the dictionary definition of ironic is? Dictionaries of a pedants and mouth breathers. Sorry, you were saying? Didn't you win one of these awards for hair and makeup a couple years back? Anyway! 
And if you could bring that up again next time we're in conversation with a handsome single man, I'd appreciate it. Alright, um... Yeah. I want to see if there's any more investigates, because I just don't want to have to, like, come back and find out I missed something, and then I gotta redo some sh- Okay, good, they're all closed. Uh, back to the city map bump. It's been years since I was in here. See that gum on the wall behind the desk? I stuck that year, that there, 15 years ago. You spent time in the police station? Not in the way you're thinking. My dad used to work here. Oh, that could be to our advantage. Having an ally in the police could... Dad passed away, Scout, a long time ago. We're on our own here. Beep, 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 beep. Speaking of which, John's probably alone in the interview room with Cross right now. Keep quiet, man. I better hear what's going on. I'm telling you, I wasn't there. You think you're tough, Redfern, but I'm gonna get you to crack, even if it takes all night. Honor, Detective Cross is going to crack, John. We have to stop him. Shh, go hear us. <laughs> Hi, Detective. You, what are you doing here? I found you have it handed at the front desk, okay? I'll get to it in the morning. But I, maybe you haven't noticed, but I'm busy right now. If you want to talk, come back tomorrow. Now, if you'll excuse me. Damn it, he's locked the door. Hey, oh, open up! You've got the wrong guy in there. <sighs> if Cross won't do his job, we'll have to do it for him. What are you suggesting? All the case evidence is behind the front desk, right? Let's take a look. We, mu we must have missed something. Behind the desk? What if someone sees us? Let me worry about that. Can you try scanning the murder weapon again? I can conduct a micro-level scan, but it will take some time. Behind the desk, right? Uh, oh, a 15 by 15. We're really fucking it up now. All right, let's get all these easies out of the way. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Go. Ooh, ooh, fuck that up. Two and 11. All right, okay. And then two, one, two, two, ooh. four. Seven. That's done. That's done. Great. Oh my god, look at that. And six here. So these are all just cleaning up from getting the sides there. Let's see. I want to. I want to take this slow. Go. You have a two, blank two. So that's a remainder of one. Let's see. Uh, is this two one? What one? Yep. What else? Is there anything like that? One, two, one, two, one, two, yeah. Two, 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 two. There we go. And oh, yeah, that's done. All right, that's an edge, so we can finish that. That's an edge, we can finish that. That's an edge. That's an edge, and that's an edge. Edge, fill, edge. Ooh, another fill. There we go, that's an edge. Uh, remainder, two, that's three remainder. Uh, that goes to 11, that finishes that off. That column is finished. Uh, this column is finished. That's a one. That two is done. That's a one. That three is on an edge. Two is still remaining there. Let's see. Ones. There's the four. Those are ones. How many more ones? Four. There we go. Finish that off. Okay, so they give you a big one, but it's it's actually pretty... It's actually relatively easy. Relatively. That's seven, that's five, that's four, X there, two, X, uh, let's see, all 
three ones are there. That's an edge one. That's out. That four is done. Finish that. Let's see. Four. Finish that. X one. These are done. Two. That's done. Two. That's done. That's done. A oh, fingerprint. What did you find? There are faint marks on the award statue. They're oval shaped with quite intricate patterns. <gasps> you mean fingerprints? Uh, of course, I'll update my imaging database. If we find a match for those prints, we'll know who held the murder weapon. But how do we find a match? We don't have any fingerprint records to compare against. We have the, the police have a database. It would only have the prints of people who have been arrested before, but it might be worth a try. Good idea. Do you have access to this database? I don't have the password, if that's what you mean. Can't you network with it or something? That is not how networking works, Honor. Besides, I don't have any communications hardware, so I... Oh, hmm. that's odd. It seems I do have a communications port, but the relevant subroutines are damaged. Can you fix them? Or can you fix them? I can try. Attempting data recovery. Beep, 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 Oh, it's a flat heart. Boot sequence looks good. How's your memory clock? Stable at 150 megahertz. I'm ready for an average efficiency increase. Or, I'm reading an average efficiency increase of 1.6% since yesterday. Damn it. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> no, but I bet Tom that overclock wouldn't be stable. Guess I'm buying lunch today. We've got to get him ready for another test. They're going to be here in 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I only just started basic diagnostics. There's nothing we can do. If administrators want to refocus R&D, then screw the administrators. They can't just change parameters like this. Sorry, Scout. Looks like you're in for a long day. Science is really getting his cameo on this one, too. You're back. Th thank God. I thought I'd lost you. W what happened? There was an unexpected payload inside the damage. In English. I remembered something. <laughs> it was a bright room. The people were arguing. What were they arguing about? Something about a test. She was angry. Who was angry? I don't know. I wish I could remember more. Do you think there might be other memories that you haven't found yet? It's possible, but I have no way of knowing where they are. Oh, it might trigger them. If there's more to uncover, we'll find it. I promise I'd help you, and I meant it. Hey, Orthos. We're actually probably just about to wrap up for the night. I have some other, some late night work I gotta do. Thank you, Honor. I'm so glad I found you. In the meantime, how about that communications code? Can you access the police computer? Yes, I think I have restored that functionality. Give me a moment to make a connection. Beep, beep. Boodle, 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 boodle. Puzzle start. Solve these puzzles without using, without the use of X or hints. Look for lines that have only one solution. Any errors will incur a time penalty. Oh, this is fun. Oh, wow. I really want to use the X, too, but this is pretty easy. Oh, I want to use the X. Uh... Oh, no, there. Oh, there's three. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Four. Here we go. Five. Uh, two. Oh, I wanna just. Can I just? That's the two. That's the three. That's the one. But on. Hacking complete. I found a match for the fingerprint. Well, don't keep me waiting, Scout. Who is it? 
a man called Frank Pritchell. <laughs> uh, who? 34 years old. Prior arrests for assault and extortion. All their charges were dropped. There is a photograph attached to the file. You may want to see this. You may want to get a look at this. Oh my, oh my god, it's Tully. I almost didn't recognize him with red hair. That explains the bottle of hair dye. He must have hidden in case he needed a quick disguise. He threw out a pair of overalls and made up a story about working on the set. Even the whole stupid thing was probably just an act. He was there to blackmail Blake. Which did not go according to plan. As we heard on the tape, Blake threatened to call the police. So Frank grabbed the closest thing to hand. One of the awards from behind Blake's, Blake's desk. Uh, but now we know who you are, Frank. We're coming for you. Ugh. Man, do I need a coffee. Does anybody have a coffee in their hammer space back? You're still here? Don't you have some place else to be? You're, you just aren't going to leave me alone, are you? How's the interview going? The guy's driving me crazy. I don't know how he does it, but he's clammed up tighter than a rhino in a wetsuit. I know why he's not talking. Why? Because I'm not going hard enough? I go hard in the paint every day, little missy. I am known for being hard. Improving a little bit. No, he's not talking because he's innocent. Are you serious? An hour ago, you just wanted me to throw the book at him. I've been trying to tell you since we got here. How many times have I got to tell you? You're not a real detective. You can't just walk in here and expect me to overturn hours of work just because you changed your mind. Everything I've seen points to John. Unless I've missed something, this case is closed. We found evidence that I told you. Put it on the front desk. I'll get to it tomorrow. But we need you to see this now. What could possibly be that important? boo doo 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 I didn't want to believe it either. Oh, I didn't want to believe it either, but I was wrong. We found fingerprints on the murder weapon. Fingerprints? They match a police file on a man called Frank Pritchell. Better known to us as Tully. He was disguised, but it's him. How did you lift the prints? The lab told me they don't have a slot for hours. Scout did a micro-level scan of the award. Beep, beep. Once I had an image, you hacked into the police computer? I should have you both arrested. For solving your case? Catch your priority straight, Detective. Frank Pritchell killed Blake, and he's still out there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second, where are you going? We've got Pritchell's address on fire. File. I've got to collar the guy before he leaves town. If he gets away now, the chief is going to bust me down to traffic. What about us? We're absolutely not. You stay here. And I mean it this time. Don't move until I get back. I assume we'll be ignoring his instructions as usual. You catch on pretty quick, Scout. Shoo! We don't have his address, so unless we're going to follow the detective to the scene of a crime where a murderer is... To the scene of a murderer. Hold on, let me get another cough drop. Finish off the night. Ugh. Cough drops, a very smart idea for the stream. I recommend them. The detective left the station in a hurry, but flashing lights and a screaming siren aren't hard to follow. As I drove, my mind turned over the day's events. Blake's death, Scout's appearance, John's arrest, Frank's guilt. It seemed like the whole world was turning inside out. A dizzying whirlwind with me at the center. Up ahead, I saw Cross pull up to the curb outside an apartment block. Frank's place. There was a crowd of people gathered outside. A yellow cordon fluttered in the breeze. Something wasn't right. <gasps> Frank Pritchell was dead. They said it was suicide. A note in his apartment said he hadn't meant to kill Blake. Things got out of hand. He couldn't live with himself. The usual stuff. Wow. It tied everything up neatly enough for the police. Case closed. But it wasn't enough. Not for me. I wanted answers. I wanted to know why I was involved. And then, then I wanted out. To run away, regroup, and salvage whatever was left of my life. 
Oh my god, this is great. I love this. Little did I know, the universe had a different plan for me. Case closed. Question mark. <laughs> hey, look at that. New case unlocked. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay, so I guess there's four cases. Hey, well, that's gonna do it for today. This is really cool. I thought this game was really cool. I. I really dug that. That was. That's really cool. That's a really cool game. I'm excited. I think it looks like there are four cases. If they're about as long as this, we'll take. I think maybe the next time we do Friday Night Price. We'll do the next case. I'll save the next case. We'll do it all again next week. We'll figure out more about Frank Pritchell. Figure out probably who he was working for, which I think is not a crazy question to ask. That kind of no one spent much time asking. I really fucking did this. This is super cool. Thank you for watching Murder My Number. Thank you for watching Friday Night Price. Thank you for watching Video Game Price. Sign up for the newsletter. Neshcom.com. Click the newsletter button. Uh, we... Uh, got, we just sent out a new long email today. So long that I, that I have even more stuff I need to put in that I might do over the weekend, including this, including the Final Fantasy demo, including all the stuff that we talked about at the end of the Final Fantasy stuff. Um, I will see. I, I think I think we've 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 recorded these, so we can put these up on YouTube, YouTube.com/neshcom. If you want to see these uh, much later after the fact, they're also up on the YouTube vlog. Um, Make sure you give us a follow here at Twitch.tv slash attack if you haven't already, but I know you all are. And uh, I think that's going to do it for tonight. Thank you guys so much. 